This is your boy NRE. What up? It's DJ EFN. This is Military Crazy Raw Radio. Drink Champs Happy Hour. Make some noise! And when me and EFN started this show, we always said we wanted to dedicate this show to the legends of legends. We want to dedicate this to icons, to tycoons, right. to, 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 to people who have stood the test of time. I'm looking at this brother right now. This brother looking like he's 14 <laughs> years old. <laughs> he's been, he's been uh, dominated. He's done wrote, produced, own music, the brother of a legendary, never leaned on the, the fact that he's the brother of his, he's been holding his own ground, on tour right now, kicking monkey foot motherfuckers through their face. Oh, yeah. West Coast is in the building. We are celebrating 50 years of hip-hop, and I couldn't see no better way to celebrate the West Coast version of the hip-hop with my brother, motherfucking Warren, motherfucking G. Hey. Long Beach in the building. <laughs> now, um, Snoop just performed at the 50th anniversary yes, of hip hop. That was although, crazy. Yeah. Let, me, let me just be clear, because although that was like one of the official parties of 50th yeah. anniversary of hip hop in Yankee Stadium, this wasn't the only the party. Right. It's a whole bunch of because I listened to Charlemagne the God uh, this morning, and I, I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. And he was saying that you know some people in the South felt slighted, yeah. some people in the West felt slighted, some people in the Midwest felt slighted. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, like when I see an icon like Snoop. Mm -hmm. To me, Snoop represents the whole West Coast, yes, even though he yes, probably indeed. doesn't, like, to, yeah. to everyone else. You know, I'm sure a MAG-10, I saw a Dub C, I saw yeah. Ice Cube, but I wanted to uh, participate as well. But I think that's what the people, the gatekeepers, make a mistake. Like, yeah. they'll have Flo Rida, and they think that Flo Rida will represent the whole Florida. Right. Right. Uh, or the whole South. It's not repping the right. diversity uh, of... Yeah. Of area, and I think right. they tried... I think with Hip Hop 50, the Yankee Stadium, people tried to do was try to include everybody that they had connections to. Yeah. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But, um... I'm sorry, that's a long-ass question. Hey, no, <laughs> but how do you feel about uh, the Hip Hop 50? Well, and, um, Charlemagne had a, a really good solution for it. Yeah. But it, it was dope the way right. it was done, mm -hmm. you know, there at the mm -hmm. Yankee Stadium. Mm -hmm. His solution... It was a good solution. He said, you know, let's keep it moving. Right. And then the South do a special 50-year yeah. yeah. reunion for the South. I like that. The West Coast do, do a 50-year thing for the mm -hmm. West Coast, birthday for the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, just everybody doing it so mm -hmm. it's one, you know, so everybody right. can feel good about it and say, okay, we did that. But even though all you motherfuckers right. is respected, well-respected, right. and, and you are counted right. with this 50 years of hip-hop. Right. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, um, I, and I didn't go, I, I couldn't mm -hmm. go, right? I, I was obligated to a couple oh, of yeah. other things. But I was uh, looking at the footage, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I, the camaraderie, what's that word? Camaraderie. 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 <laughs> like, you know what? That was the first time, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is real talk. We are taught sometimes to look at a person and say, oh, that's homie from the West Coast. Yeah. That was the first time I was like, look, look at how hip-hop is. It's all hip-hop. Right? I didn't it's say all... West Coast. I right. didn't say yeah. East Coast. Yeah. I didn't say Black. I didn't say Puerto Rican. I was just yeah. like, look, I just looked at hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah. And I was I was like on Kane Instagram. I'm on Snoop. I'm on everyone's oh, yeah. Instagram. And I'm looking and I'm like, I was a kid. For the and at that, that moment, is, right. I didn't yeah. feel Black. I didn't feel, I felt hip-hop. Right. Was, I felt, yeah. I felt, I didn't feel like a race. I felt like, yeah. and it was just so dope. It was even, it was even dope to hear Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons called me at four o'clock oh, in the yeah. morning, and he's like, "They forgetting DJ Hollywood." And I'm like, "You're the only person." Oh yeah, that <laughs> but, that's big. Yeah, you that heard about big. DJ Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was big to yeah. bring him out there. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I actually out. met Hollywood. Uh, one of my friends named Jamea, Janea, Janea, mm -hmm. she uh, um, took me to the Rucker. Wow. And oh, they wow. laid it out for me. They, I was in the... I was and like, what year was this? This was... Oh, wait. What year was that? It, was, it had to be... It probably... It was probably about maybe three or, three or four years ago. Oh, okay. This is yeah, new. This, I thought this, I thought you should yeah, be this was, this Hollywood was, from back then. Okay. The, no, the DJ Hollywood? Yeah, DJ Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no I'm talking about like when, when he was the... the, the no, he was... Okay, the, he was the, MCing too? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. When, when you say Hollywood, I was like, damn, but... They was telling me how much of a, a OG he was. Right. Oh Damn. yeah, yeah, so, quadruple OG. He, he was actually yeah. it was crazy about it. And and please, hip hop historians, mm. I, I got as close as I get. 
He was the person that kind of invented the word MC. What I mean with that, by, by that is, at this point, people were DJing, but the DJs, yeah. you know, they was getting people hyped through the music. He was the first person to actually grab the mic and say, you know, and, and one of his routines was, was, was one of my favorite records. I, I, I always try to do this record over. I'm never yeah. successful with doing it. Ooh-tang, ooh-tang, I don't want to go sex it with my honey bun and give me some of that yum, like yum, yum, yum before I go to bed. <laughs> yum, yum, niggas don't know that. Yum, yum, niggas don't know that. About that. But <laughs> right, let's, yeah. let's, let's skip around real quick. One of my favorite movies, Straight Outta Compton. Mm -hmm. It has that famous scene with you and Dre, right? Mm -hmm. Where he he gets kicked out. What is it? Well, I mean, he, uh, <laughs> 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 you know, uh, you know, he got put out. I think it was like a, he was running out the crib when he got yeah, kicked out the crib. About eighteen or nineteen, right. yeah, around right. that time. Uh, I was just a little snotty nose kid. You know, just around, just, you know, looking up to him, both him and my brother Tyreek. Right. Yeah, back then, yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, man, out of all the, what is it called, biop? Biop? Biopics. Biopic Biopic films. Mm -hmm. To me, this was the best one. Yeah. Now, now, can you answer this for me? Is it is it the best one because these brothers are still around so they can actually critique? Well, not everybody's. Uh, well, not everybody. Uh, obviously, uh, Easy is gone. Nate is not um, gone. Who else? Nate Dogg. Oh, gone. Nate Dogg, obviously. Yeah. yeah, okay, my bad. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. Um, man, I... I uh... I, I mean, there was some things in there in, in it that that huh. I felt that should have been in there that that wasn't in it. But you know, if, if they'd have took the time to put everything in there, that movie probably would what, what parts? A, a, what parts a, you think we're missing? A week long, not an hour long. Huh? <laughs> what parts you think were vital that were missing? Uh, I mean, not not anything to do with me, but I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like you know, I ain't like. One of them people trying to smash on it. Because I you know going, the story going, better than anybody saying, else from like, your you perspective. Were there. Like the fun we used to have where we, we was in audio achievements. I was like I said, I was a young buck mm -hmm. around all those guys, just being in there having fun and, and the what we talked about earlier with the live skits and stuff like that, just right. showing that whole element, right. Right. that part right there. Um and different things that went on, you know, like when they was on the road. When you know, right. like uh, we was in San Diego one time, and I got a chance to come out and see one of their shows, you know, like the stuff they was doing behind the scenes. Like, mm. it's just little stuff like that, Not, you know, but it overall, was it was still, it was on point. How, how old were you when NWA took off? Uh, I had to be. Like, did you guys have 213 already? Like... Mm. Uh, 213 had to come yeah, out. Th yeah, we, yeah, we came. Like, we we came are, I'm just saying, that. you know, like the beginnings of you guys. We, we, was, we was pups. Right. You know, we was pups. We was we was just hearing it and, and, and falling in love with it. And like I said, I used to get a chance to go up to the studio. So, you know, so I get I get to I, yeah, I used oh, to hang wow. around that's at, at wow. Audio Achievements. And and wow. that's what even I, shit, I hung out so much that they took me and put me on a skit on Niggas for Life. Uh, oh shit. The, remember the jail part where, hey, Miss Officer, get your motherfucking hands. That was me. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! That makes me look good. Holy shit! Yeah, I was a pup, uh, just just hanging around, and uh, two one like he said, two one three came after that, man. Right. Uh, but we was hearing the world class wrecking crew, wrecking crew, mm. uh, and the L A Dream team and Ice T. And you knew yeah. that was your brother when you heard the world class like, wrecking crew. Uh, no, he was, was yeah. I'm just saying, you know, how, you know how it was back in the days. People didn't do videos, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, we we looked up to all of that, you know, right. me and Snoop and all of us, uh, even way back then. And, and one of the cold things that happened um, around that time, you know. Dre used to have tapes mm -hmm. when they would do music. Mm -hmm. I used to hear the shit before everybody else. Mm -hmm. So we used to sell candy, which is the Voltron crew, which was in, in that I talk about in this DJ, the Voltron Voltron crew. That was our our crew. And uh, so what we would do was we would work. We would go sell candy for this dude named Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, just a bunch of young black kids working for this this cat. Take us in, out to all our, the rich areas to sell candy. So after that... We would go to McDonald's. That's in the Big Mac value pack. <laughs> and, uh, that was a big deal when you was a kid. And, yeah, that shit was, <laughs> that shit yeah, was yeah. cracking. That was like wearing clothes, having the yeah, Big Mac yeah. in your hand. It, it was, was like gourmet. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we would be freestyling and having 
you know, battles and stuff in there. You know, even the twins, they up in here, they was, all of us was, even my own baby papa, when I uh -huh. say baby papa tick, that's baby papa uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. We all came from elementary, King Park, all that. So we, we. In LBC. Yeah, in Long okay. Beach, California. Okay. And uh, so we used to freestyle and have fun and rap against each other in there, beatboxing the whole nine. So I had memorized Dre's song. It was a song called The Cabbage Patch. Mm. So these niggas in there busting like a motherfucker. So I, it came to my turn. I was like, well I, uh, well, I was rolling down the street with my mind at ease. I had my top pulled back so I could feel the breeze. Somebody called my name. I looked around. It was a freak on the bus stop flagging me down. So I'm rapping Ooh, shit. Whoop, 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 wh
Well, it was it was Chris Lighty, Tracy Waples, and wow. uh, Leor Cohen. They was all on the phone wow. talking to me. Crazy. And uh, it was like, uh, uh, well, we we want the guy on the song that the. the you know, he had all of the styles. So I was like, oh, okay, Mr. Grimm, that's my guy. I'm going to reach out to him, and I'm going to get put you in contact with his people so you guys can, you know, get it all together. So it, it, they said he had kind of like a singing mm -hmm. type of feel to what he was doing. I said, okay, I said, so you mean the second guy? Okay. So it was like, yeah, that guy. I said, shit, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I said, what's up? <laughs> shit. Hey. So uh, this, this was is, like, you got hype like, hype. We, yeah, I said, shit, that's me. They said, we want you. Okay. So I was like, damn, I was, I was tripping this out. Is I, thought, I, I produced it, so I was like, shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna produce you, all yeah, his anyway, shit. Anyway, got 50%. Yeah, because anyway. he was my guy. You know, like, <laughs> that was my guy, like my artist type. You know, right. and uh, that was, that was an example of, of, you know, I tried to push him. Mm -hmm. Before myself, you wasn't even right. thinking about yourself. And I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about myself. I knew you I would get my shot by producing, huh. Mr. Graham. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, but let me ask you because now when I listen to the radio, mm -hmm. I turn on the radio. I hear versions of Nick Dog all yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with all due respect to these new artists, uh, I believe the first pre person I've really heard go into depth singing on the record was T.J. Swan. Yeah, from the Juice Crew. He, he then, got down mm -hmm. the other day. I seen him and up then, there on the then, stage. He, he got on stage. He got, I didn't, on, he got I, down on stage. Oh, I didn't see. I did a tribute. To, they did a tribute to Biz. He and, was up there. And after that, mm -hmm. the only person, but who was hitting melodies, because T.J. Yeah. Swan was kind of like, I want to say <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> yeah, no, the people Swan that were singing was, before was, didn't was, have. No, but Nate, <laughs> Nate was actually. Nah, like, you he can sing. You can hear. He went to church with his mom. Like you can hear that. And then he was above. He was. What is that shit called? Ahead of your time. Time, right. yes, he was did. so ahead of his time that people now are hitting his melodies right now, and yeah. they don't even know it. Yeah. Did you, you know what? Uh, that that uh, don't another flight. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. That's that. That's yeah. That's Whoever old. wrote that. That's like, real. That's they, yeah. They had Nate oh, oh, even right the now. hold up. Yeah. The hold up. <laughs> That shit. That, uh, oh. Corley, Corley Cor Ray. Corley yeah. Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big hog. Yes, yeah. indeed, yes, yeah. indeed. But did yeah. you, did you, did you think like because, like I, I mean, um, I, not to call out anybody's mm -hmm. name, but when I like, God bless, when I hear T Pain, mm -hmm. when I hear Future, I hear Rod Wave, I hear like, uh, who's these other guys out there? Uh, even like the Travis Scott's melodies yeah. and yeah. all that. Did you think like Nate's legacy would be this powerful? Definitely. He you was, knew it. I knew it. He he was just he was different. You right. know, he was different and and anything like that was like how Snoop and Dre is. That's how me and Nate is. Right. You know what I mean? So anything I would bring up, it no, it don't matter what it was. I could put on some shit like a jazz tune that, that's jazz. like off balance and just mm -hmm. crazy. He'd come up with some shit to that shit. Right. He'd do yeah. some scatting to that shit. Right. You know, he'd right. do all kind of shit, but he'd, he'd be, it'd be in a gangster way. Right. right. You know, and it, whether it's about a woman, he'd be scatting to talking about a woman. You right. know what I mean? And just, he he was just, just dope. Anything that, that you could put in his face, he would turn that shit in or something to right. a... Because there was nothing a, soft about the way he approached nah, the record. He was a gangster. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was nothing soft about he, it. He meant that shit. When yeah. he was on there, he telling, his, telling the real, mm -hmm. just like the hardest man... It's one of his songs. I don't know if too many people heard that, but it's him. Uh, it's, he's talking in third person, but the the third the, the person that's the third person is a gun. Mm. Yeah. It's a gun telling him a story, right. and he's telling the story about himself at the same time. You know, because it say, little big man, don't you see me lying here? Yeah. Pick me up. Uh, the way he said, I'll make your life easier. Uh... God damn it, I can't remember the song, all the words all the right. way. But he say, after you finish doing what you doing, toss me and be gone. But mm. just the gun talking right. to him saying, toss me and be gone. Right. It's it's cold. You got to hear it. It's called The Hardest Man. But like I said, he was incredible, man. And, and it was things like that that he could do along with being on any type of genre of music and making that shit a hit record. Nate was incredible. Let's make some noise for Nate. Yeah. 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 So, 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 you know, one of the beautiful parts, beautiful parts about me being an artist is mm -hmm. me like to sit there and watch a producer create. Yeah. 
What is something that you need to create? When you're in the studio, what do you need? Uh, shit. What's the vibe? Uh, the environment, what does it got to be like? I have me some beer, uh, bud, uh, some tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some tequila, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, you know, uh, musicians. Right. And, um... You know, just my friend. Actually, what I do is I call my friends later to come up. You know, so I sit in there pretty much by myself for a while. Then I bring in the musicians to help out with parts that I know I can't get. Uh -huh. And I just sit in that motherfucker all just, just, just putting everything together. And then I'll call everybody to come up. And then when they come in, I'll start playing shit. Mm -hmm. And and it lets me know if I got something banging. But that's pretty much it. I give me a, I smoke me a joint. Got the musicians there. I had me some beer, some tequila, and food. Right. And I, I just, it just take me to a, take me into a, in my records, in my right. turntable, my mixer, just sitting there vibing out and getting ideas. Right. Mm -hmm. God damn. I love that shit too. I love studio? it. I ain't gonna, hell yeah. I, ain't gonna I, love lie. It. I, 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 I thought I didn't miss the studio to the other day. Yeah. And I went in. And I was like, I missed this <laughs> motherfucker. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, oh, I missed this motherfucker. Shit, you still yeah. young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can't find it. Ain't no, but they yeah. gonna never stop. But let's yeah. talk about this tour though. Let's talk about oh, this tour. The tour is off the chain. Um, everywhere we've been, been sold out. And who's on this tour? Let's talk. It's me, Snoop, Too Short, Wiz. Uh, Burner, DJ Drama, mm. uh, the twins is out here with us, and um. Oh, the smoke alarm's going yeah, off yeah. everywhere. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody smoke on that oh motherfucker. God. god damn it! We getting tired of yeah, it. Yeah. I know I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. god damn, yeah. another goddamn house, another right. goddamn pound. Right. Can't take it all. I give the shit away. Like, take right. this shit. Tired of it. Um, mm -hmm. let, let me let me ask you because, you know, I was fortunate enough to be around. Mm -hmm. Death Row was mm -hmm. around. Yeah. And I'm, I'm fortunate enough to see the transition yes, from how everyone moved when they was on Death Row to yeah. kind of like grown men now. Like everyone is kind of like, I don't want to say adults. Yeah, right? Because yeah, everybody was young. Like, that's what people <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't realize. I'm trying to think of a cooler word. But... I mean, with <laughs> shit, sure. this, the, yeah, mature. Mature, right. yeah. Yes, indeed. Right, right. So, what is the difference? What is where's Warren G more comfortable when your guys was on the road? Because remember, when you when you, when you guys was affiliated to Death Row, I know you was always on Def Jam. Yeah, I was. But yeah. when you guys was affiliated to Death Row, this this was the highest of the highest. This yeah. wasn't the highest of the West Coast. This was the highest in the world. Yeah. Right. Did you have more fun then, or you having more fun now? Uh, or it's different. <laughs> I had more fun then. I, I mean, I mean, I have a ball now, but I had a I had a ball back then because okay. it was fun and dangerous. And dangerous, and dangerous. <laughs> so it was exciting. I swear to God, I swear to my, I swear to my body, you don't ever say that. I'm gonna say he gonna say it's fun and dangerous. I, yeah, it's, it's, that's just some shit from the hood. Yeah, you yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. You know the anticipation of knowing, like, damn, we we may bump heads over here. Right. Hey, okay, shit, it's on. Right. You know, right. let's go. Which you did bump heads over there. All the time. I had seen a, yeah. I don't know if it was a about interview Shug, you right? did. Nah, there's something uh -huh. about you with Suge, right? That yeah. you had to get out the, out of the studio. Because he was the well, only I, I one. Went, <laughs> no, I, I went to the, I went to the, uh, the uh, it was a session. I went to go see Snoop and everybody. You know, I hadn't seen everybody in a minute, so I went up there. And uh, it was a studio session. Everybody in that motherfucker partying, everybody doing Tupac and everybody, all of us. No, Tupac wasn't in there. It was just... It was uh, the dog pound, Snoop, everybody, all our whole. But this is the Pac era of Death Row. Yeah. Okay. And you knew dog pound back then? Because that was Snoop. I've known yeah. him all my okay. life. Okay, okay. I, shit. I'll get into Let's that. Let's get into yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm don't excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they came through the funk. The uh -huh. dog pound came through the funk. Okay. Me. The funk, that's right. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. So uh, we was in the studio. Uh, well, I mean, we bumped heads a couple times. You know, I, I ain't, I, I ain't like in the bashing the motherfucker. And I won't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I won't bash him or nothing like that. Cause I, I've known them niggas since shit. When I was about 15 years old, the first time I met him, I went to a wet and wild Talking party. Talking about Suge. Yeah, with Suge, right. with Dre now. Way back to Easy and Dre. But like, he was a bodyguard, wild, right? Huh? They called him Marion back then? No, they called him Suge they back then. Suge? Yes, yes, but he was a bodyguard at first, right? Yeah, with uh, Bobby and then he started uh, managing. He was around Bob, yeah, Bobby Brown and, and and Easy hanging around Easy right. and them and all, you know, just cool nigga. Right. But, you know, uh, now it was a situation that happened where, you know, I came in the studio, um, 
you know, everybody's in there. You know, I was cracking on Def Jam. Everything was popping. So, you know, I'm thinking all this the shit is all good. <laughs> <laughs> so, he one of one of the one of my guys come in that I knew that was part of his his team was like Warren should want to holler at you. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm coming in there. I'm just right here talking to all my guys. So. And we talk, and he come in again, like, Warren, should won't you? I'm like, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> let me talk to my God. Right. And then so he came in there and was like, Warren, man, let me holler at you, man. And I was like, shit, let me see what the fuck this nigga is. Man, call? God damn. So uh, so I uh, I went in there, uh, walked in, went in the room, and once, you know, when we got in there, the door shut, you know, another door the came up from this room, side. Right? Yeah, <laughs> another door came over from this side, and then it was a dude I knew came out was just like, blood, you tried to set me up. So I'm like, huh? What the fuck I look like trying to set you up? This is my nigga, too. Like, this was my guy. We used to drink, smoke together, all kind of shit from the, from the wow. beginning. Like, yeah, some bitches told me that. When he said some bitches, I said, oh, this nigga, this some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't even get down like right, that. Right. So, uh... You know, so he woofing, so they, you know, going at they he talking to Sugar, Sugar, like, blood, you warn you, this is us. So I'm like, nah. So I'm just chilling. So he like walk up on me like he tripping and just wham, just snap snatch my shit. Mind you, I had a 40 Glock on my hip. I could have pulled that motherfucker out and start busting. But I said, you know what? I'm like, shit, I can't, this gonna be the end of my shit. Right. Like, I'm going to be done. All this shit going to be done because they going to be shot. I'm going to be shot coming out because you got a gang of motherfuckers on the outside, like, banged out motherfuckers. You got police, the whole nine. So I, it, it was yeah, a no-win situation. So one of my homeboys, uh, Big C Style, he came in like, what's up? Like, what's going on? Why, what, what's happening with Warren? Why y'all fucking with Warren? You know? Uh -huh. So they like, da -da -da, they talking. So while they talking, I hit that door and I, boop. <laughs> and I eased out that motherfucker, and I walked through the kitchen, and I seen one of my homeboys, or two of my guys, I looked at him like, nigga, these niggas tripping. I didn't want to alarm nobody, so I got to the hallway, and I, I ran up, not ran, but I walked out the hallway, so I, as I'm going down the hallway, he came storming out that motherfucker, get that nigga blood! <laughs> as soon as he said that shit, I took over. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> well, who said get that nigga? Sure. Oh, okay. oh, oh. They niggas start running. All you seen was just like a, like a, like some dominoes. Just, boo, 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 just uh -huh. pop. They fell. All right. So I got, I got a chance to get out that motherfucker. I jumped in my truck. I had a big ass, uh, uh, I think it was a, a Denali a truck or some big black mm -hmm. motherfucker on big old knobbies. So I got in my goddamn truck. I backed that motherfucker. I was like, nigga, fuck y'all. Whoop, took off. Right. And uh. The whole thing about that is that I didn't know Dre had left oh. that bro. Oh. You know what so I mean? The, so the, the news wasn't out. The new, yeah, so I yeah. didn't know, but oh. but that shit happened to me in there, but then I called my uncle. I said, run. This motherfucker just snatched my chain. I was I was mad as a motherfucker. I was like, he was like, give me a, give me somebody's number one. Mm -hmm. So um Gave him, uh, he called Snoop. And uh, who was that you called, Ron? Called <laughs> And he, he told them, he told them straight up, he said, Look, if my, nep if my nephew Chain don't come out that motherfucker, I'm going to blow that motherfucker up. He's a special type of guy. Yeah, different. I can tell. Like, I can tell. it's different. Like, yeah. I'm talking Navy SEAL type. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the, well, let me quick, because I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, Snoop called me like, G-Dub, come get your chain, man. Da -da 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 -da. I said, hell no, nigga. I ain't going back <laughs> up there to get that chain. Nigga, keep that motherfucker and hold it. And when I see you, I'll get it. Right. But the whole time, I didn't know Dre left. I wish right. he would have called me like, nigga, don't shit. go around that shit. Them niggas is tripping. Right. You know, but some some of his homeboys had always used to tell me, like, Warren, they on something else. You know, just kind of stay out the way. So let me ask you, because because to me, you was an uh, insider. I mean, that, that was like an outsider because you was, wasn't signed right. to death row technically. Right. At one point, again, I'm an outsider. Uh -huh. I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this death row looked like the funnest fucking place in America. Oh, it was off the chain. Like, it went from it being like, 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 
but like Queensbridge, I'm from Left Rack City, but yeah, Queensbridge yeah. is not too far away, right? Queensbridge yeah. is a wild ass neighborhood. Yeah. But let me just tell you something. It's the funnest time yeah. of my whole fucking yeah. life. It's a dangerous ass, but it's fun as fuck. Yeah. So me looking from the outside in, I would look at that fro and be like, this is like a fun ass fucking label. Yeah. These guys got perms. These guys is good <laughs> Cadillacs. No, we had a ball. You, you know, we, but we, then we, at what point did it go from not it stop being fun? Was it the I gang think, thing? I think, or- I think once the money started rolling in, you know, that's when everything kind of like started to change a little bit. So, sorry, but, but wait, off. they didn't want to sign you at Death Row? Shit, I don't. I, I didn't get signed to them. They so you know I don't know what. Could what, there have been a thing that because much, you were at Def Jam that they were like, well, you should have been over here. Like, could that have ever? Oh, that been was a thing? after after shit. After I got after it popped off. You know, right, after right. motherfuckers wasn't fucking with me. I was like, shit. Let me get out and do my motherfucking thing. You know, because right. it, it just, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't right. You know, but like I said, we we had a ball. Don't get me wrong. I had fun with Shug. You know, a lot of, you know, we had a, a lot of fun. We just bumped heads a few times. That wasn't cool. You know, another incident was where when we was young in the game at the Solar Studio, we, you know, and, and they pulled out the contracts. Uh, and I was just like, myself, I'm like, shit, I, you can't just sign this in shit. In the studio? In the studio. I so, said, you so can't y'all sign. just vibing, and Suge just comes and brings out the cards? Well, we had been doing, you know, doing our thing, uh-huh. so it was time for... Is he working on the chronic or no? Huh? Are we working on the chronic? Was we, we was, oh, was we doing the chronic? I think we was doing the chronic then. Okay. So, I told Snoop, I was like, shit, don't sign that shit. Oh, you know, man. don't sign that contract, get a lawyer. Oh. You know, and, and one of my constituents went in there and told him that I told him not to sign it. So when he heard that shit, here he go again. That's the story. Hey, blood, where's the story? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then he came and he grabbed me and slammed me up against the wall. And uh, he was just like, blood, you told him not to sign that contract? And I was like, man, you better get your hands off me. Wow. He'll tell you. I said, I said, get your hands off me. I'm going to call all my homeboys. Because back then, I didn't care. Shit. Right. And uh, I had one of my little buddies with me named Cisco. Cisco was a gunner. Right. But he didn't have no gun on him, but I wouldn't have wanted him to, to shoot him or nothing like right. that or do anything like that because I wasn't, you know, I, I'm not going right. to let this motherfucker, let him shoot him, but he was that hot-headed. Right. But he couldn't do shit. This motherfucker was this big. Right. And uh, so I thought I was getting away. I went and hit the elevator, thought I was getting away, but I couldn't do it. He snatched my ass. <laughs> you you know, we, we, bumped, we, just, we bumped heads a couple times, so, it, you know, that's probably probably what led up to me uh, not being a part of the, the whole thing, you know, because, you know, we when it was time to go on tour, um, everybody was, was straight, had their tickets, you know, every, I'm charged up, I had luggage and shit ready to go. I'm like, shit, I'm going with y'all. And, uh, I didn't have shit, you know. I didn't have nothing at the airport. It was like you're not going, you know. You ain't going. So I was fucked up, like because you wasn't going because you, you was affiliated with Def Jam, or you it just was didn't like know? nigga, you're not going. Like wow. Even though I'm down, I've I've been fighting with these niggas. We didn't had fun together. All that's like nigga, you're not going. I'm like oh, wow. You know who I and and who gave me a ride back? Uh, gave me a ride home after that. Was a uh, uh, member Breeze, mm-hmm. MC Breeze, MC yeah. Breeze, yeah, yeah, yeah. MC Breeze gave me a ride. Him and my homegirl Samara, they gave me a ride home from the airport Media that day. Samara? No, no, okay. this was my my homegirl uh, okay. Samara. Okay. And um, from that day, so you were stranded on the road, and they gave you a ride back home. I didn't have no way to get home, but she came. Oh, she was up there. Shit. She was up there because I think Breeze was gonna sign with Death Row. Mm. But um, so I, I asked him. That was my home where she used to hang around us all the time. So, you know, I asked her for a ride. So jumped in the car with them, and from that point on, I just said, "This, this ain't gonna work." You know. Then I, I asked Dre. I'm like, "What's going on? Like, what's up, man?" He was like, "You got to be your own man. You know, you just got to do your own thing." Once, so I was just like, "Fucked up." Nice. Like. I ain't with Snoop, I ain't with Dre, I ain't with Daz, Corrupt, none of my homeboys. They all out having fun doing this and doing that. And I had to go back to my sister's floor. I had my Crater Records, 
the same crate that we, we was using on the Chronic. I had my crater records. I had my mixer and my turntable, my MPC drum, C, MPC 60 drum machine, which I still got all that shit mm. to this day. And just started doing my thing, man. Wow. And got a call from MC Breed and Tupac. And that's when I, I produced... Uh, when they did the, their record together? Well, the, Tupac, it was MC Breed and them called me. Uh, Rodney G called me. And D.O.C., had called me for Rodney G. So they was like, Warren, we want you to, to do some music for Breed. So I went up there with, with MC Breed, and that's when I produced the record. Um, you got to get yours. Yeah, I got to yeah. get mine. Incredible you record. Get yours. I didn't and know you, Pac, you produced that record? Yeah, I produced that. I didn't and, know and that. Pac, I produced it, and Pac came in the, uh, the session and so got you on the it. the Bay Area of Tupac. Cause that's yes. that's who, who that was. Like I knew yes, indeed. from Baltimore, he yes, was in indeed. the Bay Area before yes, he indeed. came to LA. Yeah, this is that's yeah. pre yeah. Death Row. That yeah, that, when he that, did that, that, yeah, that Row, and it's Row. after post Digital Underground. It's right, right, right after. Yeah, that. that's yeah, what he's yeah, already right, yeah, out. Right. He's got his record. When he had Soldier Story. Right. And all. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so oh, Apocalypse man, Now this, and all that. You just give it. You just you just. So it. I ain't gonna lie. It uh, you know, so they gave me my first shot as far as my production being out into the world, like that MC Breeze. I can't believe you that record, yours, I gotta get That's mine. a great record. And I turned around and did his whole album, MC Breed, after that. And then that led to, you know, like, like once again, with Endo Smoke, I hope I'm not talking too much. No, no, please, <laughs> baby. See, we fans, <laughs> motherfucker. Come on. To Endo Smoke, I, that, that led to how Endo Smoke and me doing another record for two, a couple more records for Tupac, because right. I did Endo Smoke, uh, like I said, on the Poetry Justice soundtrack, and mm -hmm. Pac heard that. And he called me, which I didn't think it was, I, I didn't even think it was him. I was like, this ain't Pac, I hung the phone up. <laughs> so he called back and was like, this is Pac, this is Pac, Warren, hold up. So it was him. Mm -hmm. And then he told me, okay, I'm at Echo Sound. So I went up to Echo Sound. Um, he asked me, did you do, the, did you, you produce the record on the Endo Smoke, right? I said, yes. He said, well, I, I want to, um, I need a record as well. Um... So at that point, we just start. You know, that was the first time I seen somebody roll a blunt. <laughs> oh, he Tupac. Yeah, I heard he's. He had a gang of bad <laughs> bitches in there. Yeah, he had a gang of bad bitches in there. I had glasses on with a little bit of tape on my glasses and shit, <laughs> and I was like, God damn. <laughs> and uh, but they were showing me love, yeah. and um, so he was asking me. He was like, Warren, what, what's up with you? You know, like what's happening? You know, I said I just been going through a whole lot. That's when I didn't get to do anything. So he was like, i just been going through a whole lot. Uh, you know, I got into it with a cat out in Long Beach. I had shootout, busting, busting that motherfuckers. Um, motherfuckers broke in my car, all kind of shit. So I was telling him all of this shit I was going through, and he was just like, damn, that shit is crazy. So he was like, you got a beat? And I was like, yeah. Started going through my discs and shit, popping them in the drum machine, and I came across the uh, Wind Parade by Donald Bird. Mm. I had already had the beat done, mm. and uh, the, it was the doom, doom, boom, doom, boom, 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 boom. He was like, "I want that one right there." So he he, I got it, gave it to him. They put it on tape. He went in there in the booth. And the, the engineer, they, you know how they quieted, they shut the speakers off, yeah. just him and the, mm -hmm. the engineer in the headphones. So he went in there for about 30 minutes, and uh, he came out that motherfucker, and he told him to turn it up, and it was the same beat I gave him. He When it came on, boom, 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 boom. He, he said, my definition of a thug nigga. So he started, I said, God damn that shit. So I said, this nigga. So he started busting. I paid the calls I was given. <laughs> Thank God he was busting. Right. And he started talking about some of the shit that, that I was telling. Right. I was telling it. Right. So I'm like, God damn, this motherfucker put the shit in the goddamn shit. <laughs> Along with some other shit. So I was like, I was like, this is crazy. So he was like, it, 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 I heard and he was like, my definition of a thug nigga. And that was it. 
So he said, Warren, can you put some scratches and stuff in there? So I was like, hell yeah. So I, I did the, um, it was Roxanne Shantae. I said, he pretends the season to be serving. And then I had Richard Pryor scratch down with, what you doing? Mm. And I took Snoop voice and I said, he mobbing like a motherfucker. It was tears the season to be served. If it, what you doing? Mob, mobbing like a motherfucker. So that was right uh. after he said, my definition of a thug nigga, uh. which became his single, his Thug Life single off the Poetic Justice soundtrack, which catapulted the Thug Life album. Right. Big Psych, Lil Psych, uh, Lil Rated R, Mac 10, Macadocious Mac 10, not, not the Inglewood Mac 10, but Mac 10, Macadocious. Uh, Runner, all of them, they they came in there at the same time because they, they was Thug Life and one of their homies that got killed named Kato. So Pac was like, warm. You got something for my for me to do a song about my homeboy that just got killed in Detroit. This was like they just told him in there, so he was fucked up. And I said, I got one for you. And that's when I did the How Long Will They Mourn Me? Mm. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. How long will they mourn me? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So he was like, he did the song. So he was like, I gotta get somebody on the hook, man, to sing. So I called Nate. Back then, it wasn't no navigation, so I had to tell Nate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make the left-right way costume. Yeah, you got to do this. And Roscoe's make the U-turn. Yeah, yeah go ahead. So it was navigation, and um, Nate came up there and did his part. I wish it was another. How long will they mourn, my brother? Wow. That shit was, it was Man. cold. And, and then that led to Lie to Kick It. And then it, it led to other, other records that I produced for him. And um, that shit, like I said, Pac and Breed was the first motherfuckers to give me my shot at Beautiful. at at uh, um, production wise. Right. And by the way, remember I told you about the chain that got snatched? Yeah. Still got that motherfucker to this day. God damn it. <laughs> Put that shit up on eBay. Get it on eBay, goddamn it. I'm about to sell Kanye's hat yeah. on this now, goddamn show. I, I, I ain't a buster now. That <laughs> don't, so people don't think that I'm a buster. I, just, I was just in a bad situation, a no-win situation. <laughs> Shit. You know? Yes. Yeah. Did, but, did, hold up. Did you, early on, production-wise, did you feel that you needed to have a, a different sound than Dre? Most definitely. I mean... Like, was that something conscious that you were like, I got to yeah, sound I'm, different? Well, I got to pick different I samples? Just, I just wanted to... to create my own lane and not have people say, oh, the reason why he doing this is because he with Dre and this, right. that, and this. Right. But my music ear developed from my father. Uh, my dad, Warren, yeah, see, Warren, father, Warren Jr. Right? Nuh-uh. Oh, you got the same mother. Then. Now, my dad married his mother. Oh. Yeah. You know, at, when, we, when I was okay. a, a, a young kid. And uh, so my dad... He used to play music for me all day. Like, we would sit in his house because he would come pick me up from my mom's, and he would take me and just listen to music all day, which was jazz. Mm. So that pretty much was 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 instilled in me. So you did a better and one. that's what, what comes out whenever I do production. I always have, like, a, a, a feel good to whatever I do. Mm -hmm. And that's just what I'm about. I love I love the feel good, mm. the, you know, shit. And um, that, that right there is what... what uh, Made my style what it what it what it is and what it was, right. and and you know I I didn't never try to be like Dre, but he taught me the game as far as like the the MPC like 60. the technical side of it. Yeah, the right, MPC right. sixty him and one eighty seven from Above the Law both oh, taught wow. me taught me um, you know how to work the MPC sixty, and he also taught me how to splice tape put that shit together with the alcohol and all that shit. He taught me a lot of shit. Right. Y'all yeah. young niggas don't know this shit. <laughs> Y'all young niggas got it easy. Yeah. You're over there pressing one button, you're wrecking yeah. dust. That's the analog You're in this man's yeah. 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 Cut goddamn tape yeah. and alcohol. Holy moly guacamole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, it's all good. <laughs> and the, the, love, the love that he showed me was the love I showed back mm -hmm. by going and searching for all those records, a lot of the records that we use on the chronic. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was that was my part. I would go get the records, I would take them, sample them up, and then I let him hear it. I'm like, Dre, listen to this. He'd listen, he like, that shit is hard. If he liked it, he would take that shit and he would change it up, do a couple things. Like Let Me Ride. I played that was a break record that I bought. Mm. I bought the break record to that in uh Torrance. 
at a um, right down the street from uh, Audio Achievements, and it was a, a break. I still got the break record to this day. It's a part. It's your third grade lunch money. I can tell. I might. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but it, it was a little piece in there that that uh, that 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 ba 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 boom 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 boom. Uh, uh, let me ride. Well, I was doing them. No, I was doing a sling, no, sling, and let me ride. It was all on that that one record, and Dre took that shit and pieced that motherfucker together. When I heard it again, I was like, God damn. <laughs> Even like like the skits, like the 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 these nuts skit, that shit was all like organic. I called my homegirl and told her. I said, shit. You know what you doing today? She was like, oh, I'm getting my nails done and da da da. I, I said, well, shit. Hey. <laughs> I said, hey, the what your name them get at you? <laughs> and she was like, who? I said, these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she went crazy. She's all oh, nigga. You know, she started tripping up. But that was an organic skit. I told Dre, turn the mic on. And I just, we just did that, just in the studio one day, just sitting there. And then just a lot of the skits, like the the, you really don't understand. Don't you? In, in order for us to make this thing work, we got to get rid of the pimps, the you know all that. Yeah. That was a record. That that record. I that was, mind you, what I did is I bought all the black black exploitation albums. It was mm. from a, a place called as the as the record turns from off off of Melrose. So that little part in there was a way I was feeling right. like. Me and him as brothers. Mm -hmm. He probably he, he don't know that, but right. I, this is just something that I I have wow. had in my wow. in my heart. Like you really don't understand, do you? In order for us to make this thing work, you got to get rid of the pimps. The mm. like, you know that skip right there was some that was something that I was feeling, and he used that motherfucker. Like he was letting it off your chest. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but it was that's how I felt with you know with him. But like all the stuff that we did, like we, we did a gang of dope ass shit. Um, you know, and like I said, Dre is a motherfucking genius, like in the studio, and he ain't he he he's got no chase. He gonna tell you straight up, motherfucker. If that shit whack, he gonna say that shit is whack. <laughs> you know, he ain't playing no games. You know, but you know, I had a, had a great time. You know, just doing the chronic with him. You know, and I I actually taught Daz. You know, from him teaching me, him in 187 teaching me to. Me teaching Daz, and wow. Daz also helped right. out with, with us on the chronic. So it was me and, and Chris the Glove. Wow. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I mean the shit with the shit was just it was it was it was it was amazing. Did you guys know what you were creating at that time that it was that special? We just was doing music, just loving to do good music. And um, uh, but but it was inspired by the riots that was going on, you know, at right. that time the Rodney King shit yep. jumped off. So it was it was motherfuckers. Doing a lot of crazy shit. Florence and Normandy. Put, man, tearing so, shit up, yeah. putting shit on fire. We, I was in it. Don't get me wrong now. You ride into yeah, I was, I was. God damn it. I, you put the I, 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 oh, actually, uh, me, DLC, uh, Corrupt, and, and uh, Ice T, we was at the radio station. <laughs> Who's, I think, was it 102 point? I think it was K, K, KJLH. The nigga Ice T, they he'd tell you they seen me coming. I, I went to the store, came, ran out the store with a whole thing of beer running by the window. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he talked about that shit too. He said that nigga Warren crazy. <laughs> but uh, all of that stuff inspired us to do the chronic and uh, everything that was going on from the parties. That's ain't no fun came from them parties because that's that's what we was doing right. during that time because they was having parties here, parties there, party during the riots. Right. Wait, and, during uh, the riots? Yeah, hell yeah. You must go to some yeah, it was shit, crazy because it was a peace treaty. <laughs> yeah, the peace treaty happened, right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it, the it, the yeah, so it everybody was a peace treaty. So chilling. it was niggas coming from everywhere uh, and uh, just partying like a motherfucker. And uh, shit, we even had a party where Dre told, he told all these, it was a gang of niggas in his house. He said, y'all motherfuckers got to get up out of here. <laughs> so he had to, he pulled out the strap. Motherfuckers just like, whatever. Like, <laughs> no, nah, they wasn't tripping. <laughs> Shit, he had a closet right by the door where he had the choppers. I went in there, grabbed that motherfucker chopper. <laughs> he said, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and all them motherfuckers start moving their ass about that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and um, my only thing is I wish, you know, is I wish I was more business-minded back then uh, instead of being so, uh, like, what, what, what my my thing was is is like I said to show the love back to him, as far as um, 
teaching me. You right. know, so that that's from you. You know, you taught me as a pup, and this is the reward for you teaching me by me and my homeboys coming back, putting this record together for you. You know what I mean? I just wish I would have knew about publishing back then. Right. That, that would be lovely. That would be lovely right now. Right. You know? Yeah. But, um, you know. You're not telling me you didn't get publishing on a crime. I ain't get he shit ain't get, on it. He's telling us I didn't that. get shit. I didn't get no credit. Snoop gave me some no credit. No co-production. He said, Wait a he said what? Uh, Snoop said my name on Stranded on Death Row. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. So you produced on a chronic and never got credit in it? I didn't get shit on that motherfucker. Really? Yeah, but I, I wasn't tripping. I was there for Dre, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, helping, helping Dre. Wow. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to come back to the chronic, because I'm going to ask you something okay. before it slips my mind. Oh, yeah. Because I have... We seldomly meet people who knew Tupac prior to Death Row mm-hmm. and then who, who knew After. Tupac right. while he was on Death right. Row. Right. So, and I want to get back to the chronic, but... Sure. What was the difference, in your opinion... Meeting Tupac, like you said, Tupac gave you one of your first uh, yeah. uh, uh, looks. Uh, what was the difference between him then and then him? And did after you meet him? Did you underground days too? Yeah, yeah. He was always cool, just cool, mm-hmm. kind of hype, bouncing around. The music get to jump, and he get to bounce. He was just just a fun dude, just fun. Right. Um. Later on, you know, once he was doing his thing. Um, Actually, he actually he that was around the time we he, he had got out he had got belt out, and we was at the House of Blues like this was right after the, the incident I had so we was at the House yeah. of Blues yeah and oh, we they was took at, the chain yeah okay. yeah we was at the House of Blues and he had, was fresh out he seen me he was hugging me mm, we hugging and shit you know he was like shit let's link up man so we linked up I mean not linked up but we was just like we gonna link up so he called me. And he was like, Warren, come to the studio, uh, Can Am, da 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 da. I said, shit, I ain't coming up there. <laughs> and that was the same said, studio? Yeah. Okay. Said, I'm not coming up there. That's like, the studio. I said, let me everything. book the studio right. and you come over to where I'm at. That's fine. Because when you come over to where I'm at, I'm going to make sure I got hitters everywhere. Because right. I'm not getting ready to let nobody come in here tripping on me again. That ain't going to happen. Okay, let, let, let me ask this. Mm-hmm. This is me pure, out of pure ignorance, right? Because I, I don't He know. was a little different. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm asking. You know, because like, the way he was talking to me on the phone, I'm like, you know. It wasn't the same Pac from. It, 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 he wasn't, the, he from, wasn't the same, but he was more serious. But it was it was still him, but it was yeah, a different yeah, version he, of Yeah, him. he was just more serious. Mm-hmm. And um, at another a, a, a crazy thing is that when he was locked up, me and Richie Rich was tight, you know. I used to come, Richie, yeah, I used yeah. to come all the way from all the way from L.A. to, to over to up to the Bay. Me and him just used to ride around in big our trucks and shit, skirting, you know, doing crazy shit, right. having fun, tearing up the town, right. you know. And um, and uh, him and Pac used to talk a lot on the phone, writing letters, talking, and everything. So he was telling me about what was going on with him. So I told Rich, I said, "You tell Tupac, I'm gonna bail his ass out." Oh, wow. So I was going to put the money. I didn't give a fuck about signing. You ain't got to do shit. You just want to Give help. me a verse. That's it. You know, but I just wanted him <laughs> to get out because I felt for him. You know, that shit was fucked up. Yeah. Got beat to the punch. Wow. You know, should have got him out. You know, I wish I could have got him out. And, you know, it, he'd have been doing his own thing free. At this time... Suge was still like a love CEO this time. Yes, right? indeed. Because I remember, I remember like, I remember when him, Suge Bell and Tupac. He, out. He's a, he was a, he's a boss. Yeah, I, a boss. I remember so people I like I saluting that. I remember yeah, people yeah. like, wow, Snoop, um, Suge bossed up and, and saying that. Did you, did you ever think, because because me, me knowing you personally, mm-hmm. I know you got family in New oh, York. Yeah. Yes, I know you got everything. Yes, so <laughs> at some point, Death Row went from our favorite West Coast label to, wait a minute, these niggas hate us. <laughs> like, like I knew that had to be weird for you. No, I mean, or, it, or it, 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 uh, I don't, I, it, it wasn't that they hate New York. It wasn't, it wasn't New York. It was right. Cruz, Cruz against Cruz. Exactly, it was, right. it was like them hating Bad Boy. Right. Or, or them hating Russell and Lior. Right. It wasn't New York. Because remember that Death Row East was, with Eric B. But that was later. Yeah. No, that was in the no, midst of all that. No, Death Row East came after that award show where everyone kind of... No, that was yeah, the same I, time. Remember, right. this is a short oh, period right, of time. Right. It's not a long period of time. No, no yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. That was, yeah. they, they did have Death Row East. It's in the midst of it, yeah. Right, when yeah. And, yeah. and they signed Craig Mack. 
Or they were yeah. signing Craig Mack. He was the first artist. Damn, yeah, remember, yeah. you gotta smoke some weed. <laughs> Hey. Remember me too sharp, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, they, this nigga remember everything. It, it was, it was, it was, it was like some of the most fun I had in my life. You know, when they, when I, when it was my turn, like after I got signed to Def Jam, and they, you know, it was my time, time to get on that goddamn plane to come to New York. I called the twins. I said, "Cuz, can y'all fly with me to New York?" <laughs> this is the time where, where the builders that already got kicked down, snooping them kicked them. The way you uh, say that sounds wild. Uh, that no, sounds you, know, wild. you know what? I'm, I'm not. It, I'm not sure, but it might have. It was around. It was around them okay. times. Okay. But, but what was crazy is I, I flew to New York, and uh, I had signed with Def Jam already right. in the hotels at the Embassy Suites on 47th to 7th, right. and I got a phone call, and I was like, "Hello." It was like, "This is LL Cool J," and oh, I said, shit. "I'm like." This ain't LL Cool J. I'm a huge fan of LL too. So and I was like, this ain't, I didn't hang okay, up. I, <laughs> but I, said, I, said, I said, this ain't LL Cool J. He said, man, he said, this is LL Cool J. Come downstairs. So I'm like, shit. He knew so where your I hotel called, was I at? Called, huh? He knew your hotel was at? Yeah. So I called That's the why twins. That's why he's setting you up. Though. But it had to be from, you know, Lior and Russell, okay, and yeah, you yeah. know, telling them, you know, I'm in town. <laughs> so he can't so I went downstairs I told the twins man come with me downstairs this dude talking about the LL Cool J <laughs> so we, back then on the airplanes you could sneak shit good on yeah, the airplanes yeah, so I, I, had, I had my my stick <laughs> I had my stick so I, I grabbed my shit black black put it on went down there and um <laughs> it was LL did he lick his lips <laughs> I went, I was so, hey, Come I was on, so, man. Stuck. I was that's so, that's just who LL is. Hey, I was, I was, I was, I was, that's just who he is. This is who I he was is. so starstruck <laughs> that I didn't, I didn't question. care what he did, because I was, I was at that point, because I'm like, this is LL motherfucking cool. Guy. Man. And the nigga took me to his house, uh, his grandmother's house. He even showed, he showed me the sidekick that he, and, and uh, Tina got a big old butt, oh, that wow. light green sidekick. He wow. showed me his clothes, uh, his dope. shoes, clothes. He, I had never seen that many clothes in my motherfucking life. And I was tripping. Then Heavy D called me. Oh, rest in like, peace, man, Heavy D, man. Keep doing your thing. Want, yeah, rest in peace, Heavy D. That was my guy. Actually, me, he, my first tour was on tour with him. Him wow. and R. Kelly. And, wow, uh, wow. We're going to get yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but but it, was, it was, like I said, it, it was all love, man. Uh, just being over there and, and Russell... Had a, a young partner, and his name was Benny Rat from Harlem. He took us under his wing. He, and Big Bell, who was a security, he was from Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, right on Biggie Nim Street. And uh, they took me all over New York, man. I went everywhere. Like I told him, I want to see everything. They took me to all the boroughs. Mm -hmm. um, Benny Rat took me to right at late night uh, in Harlem. It was like three, four in the morning, and we in that motherfucker, and I'm seeing kids outside playing and shit, oh, yeah. running around, hair getting braided, motherfuckers yeah. out there playing music. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? In LA, these motherfuckers <laughs> sleep at 10.30. Yeah, yeah. This shit is crazy. So it tripped me out. And the love <laughs> that I was being showed was just was incredible. Everybody was like, we love y'all shit out here. We love y'all shit. They just don't play it that much on the radio, but we love y'all shit. So right. I didn't have no... Incidents where motherfuckers was like, this motherfucker. Actually, I did have one. <laughs> I was at Willie Burgers. In oh, Willie Harlem. Burgers, damn. You, yeah. you, that's old school. And uh, this motherfucker rolled up. He was in a wheelchair. And he was thugged out. This motherfucker, <laughs> you were Warren G at this time? I was Warren G. Oh, me yeah, and my yeah, brother-in-law, yeah. Kenny Mack. We was we rolled up and... uh. He's like, this West Coast motherfucker. He's banging. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, shit. What? I'm like, what's up? Like, he's like, motherfuckers out here. So I'm like, shit. I said, Kenny, I'm going to the car, man. So I went to the car, got in the van. Once again, clack, clack, put my shit right back, came back over. And then, uh, you know, told him. I was just like, check this out, homie. We ain't out here trying to star shit. We ain't tripping on that East Coast, West Coast shit. We just out here. I'm on Def Jam. Right. You know, so I made a couple phone calls to some high-powered guys from up out of Queens right. uh, in Harlem. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the, the cat that uh, owned the Soul Food spot in Harlem, he even came out. I forgot his name, but he... Uh, I did kinda... the Soul Food. The Copeland's? You talking about Copeland's with uh, the Soul Food spot? Uh, it's it, right up the block. Yeah, Sylvia's or Copeland, yeah. something like Sylvia's. that. Sylvia's, okay, okay. And, and uh, okay. he came up to it. Like, they came... Motherfuckers came out to cuss. 
Right. Don't want to say, you know, I don't want to mention all of my guys from up out of New York, but they was right. they bought. When I say bosses, super bosses, right. and they because they was locked up with with, with Baby Papa right here, right. and uh, in, in in the Fed. So they, you know, that was the connection, you know. I see my also. dad with Cream and, and Snoop. Oh in the yeah, studio. yes indeed. And uh, uh, he it was some calls made. And they, they, that motherfucker, he turned. He was soft as Peter Cottontail after that. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it was all love, man. I had a lot of love there, uh, and just being able to to hang with Russell. Uh, I met Andre Harrell, who was incredible. Like, I still got ideas in, in my head yeah. that he would tell me. You know, every time I see him, because whenever he in L.A. and I was somewhere and he was around, I was like, Andre, he'd be like, hey, what's up, Warren? Got some weed. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I used to blaze with him every time. Bomb-ass weed, right. too. And he'd just get the smile on his shit. You know how he had that laugh? Yeah, just, you know, we just be, man, he used to just give me ideas. We'd smoke a joint, he'd tell me a bunch of ideas. And I still got some of that shit locked in my head. You know, I just haven't did it. I'm going to wait till it's right to do them. But um, that, that was the kind of love I was getting from... I ain't going to lie. I even went into some of them modeling parties, and I was just, like, kind of tripping, like, hey, shit, Russell, where the fuck you got me at? <laughs> shit. He, was, he said, Warren, don't worry about what, what this is. Just, it's a lot of beautiful women. Just relax. <laughs> So, we just, we, you know, because back then, motherfuckers be tripping, was tripping off of shit back then. So, it was like, damn. So, I just blazed some bud. Me, Russell, and Andre Herrera, my homeboy, my brother-in-law, Kenny, we, we sat there and, and just blazing that motherfucker. And it was just beautiful women everywhere. And just it, it was incredible. But everything that I did, even the Christmas parties, everything was love. Yeah, I remember we 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 had we had an incident in, in the Christmas party, Def Jam and uh Christmas party, but it was West Coast motherfuckers against West Coast motherfuckers. Well, oh shit. We need to yeah. hear about this. And it was me, Nate, and Snoop and all of us, and it was Domino and them people. Oh, oh Nate and Domino. Domino, Domino, yeah. uh, uh, uh Ghetto Jam. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Him and Nate had stats. Oh, he got S girls? How you gonna have a beef and a nigga with S girls? Yeah. Domino, Domino. Don't started. underestimate nobody. <laughs> I know, I know. Him and Nate used to sing together a lot. Oh, what? Yeah, Domino and Nate used to get down a lot. Okay. And uh uh but they bumped heads, you know, it was wow. like okay. So Nate and Jim bumped heads? Nate and Domino was was oh, actually kind of like beefing. They was beefing. I ain't gonna say kinda. Right, so right. um at that time, we, that's when we filmed the show. When we was in Philadelphia, the that's movie. when I got in. Into the movie, right? the movie, I the got show. into it a motherfucker in Philadelphia. He threw a CD at me. I told him, man, don't do that shit again. I stopped the music. And then he did the shit again. I walked, jumped off the motherfucking stage. Bam! Just socked the shit out of his ass. And them motherfucking Muslims, just like they say on the show where they you march you in, we gonna march your ass out. They came and grabbed my ass. <laughs> do, 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 and marched me straight out that motherfucker all the way to the train station and, to, and sent me to New York. Russell made the motherfucker send me to New York. Oh, oh and then that's when we had, Yeah, and then that's when we had the party huh. that later on that night. And uh, we bumped heads in there, you know, it was, it was a big old giant melee. We're like, what's that? Like, what's up? Like, you know, all that shit. So Fat Joe... Had a, you know, a crew with him. Yeah. He came over there, him and a gang of motherfuckers, like, boom, they came over there to us. It was like, what's happening? We with y'all. Them motherfuckers tripping y'all. We, what's up? We gonna tear this motherfucker up. So it was now, it was a gang of us. Uh-huh. And, and then, <laughs> hey, and hey, it, nah, it was cold. And then they, you know, them motherfuckers, like all the executives and shit, start jumping in the middle. Oh, no, wait a <laughs> so it got kind of, Balanced out, and they had left, and and we partied, man. But I'm telling you, it was it was so many incidents, so many, you know, things that that was happening out there. I'm gonna even tell you this one right here. This was this was uh this was this was uh I had a friend was that was Jacob York. Uh, York yeah, yeah, Jacob York. Yeah. We- he said, "Warren," he said, "Do you want to go see Biggie?" So I said, hell yeah, I'll go see him. This was, this was at the time when, when him and Pac was, was feuding. This was when we was at the uh, club in New York. I forgot what that club Palladium was. Palladium the Tunnel? It wasn't a Palladium Speed. or the Tunnel. This was like a, a little... Like, it wasn't too big. It was, and then you walk down, it was, it was downstairs. Greenplace? Greenhouse? No. Um, it was downstairs. Yes. It wasn't Cheetahs. It was, this one was... I, I can't, I, USA? Club USA? Some shit okay. like that? It could be. Okay. But whatever it went down... 
I think it was USA or something okay, like yeah. that. Some Mr. Called... Lee, if you keep trying, you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it went down and, and uh, it was they, they they were static in there because that you know Big E and him was in there, but it wasn't like super beefed in. Right. And uh, so I mean, you, you know what? I take that back. It, it was it was it was. I came. It wasn't like to where niggas wanted to shoot and all right. that shit. I, I but it was just like, okay, you over here, it you was over standoff here. Standoff a little bit. Yeah. Right. So. Jacob York asked me if I wanted to meet Biggie, so I said, yeah. So he took me to bed style. It was me, Jacob York, uh, Ron G, my uncle Ron G, uh, and Big Bell who, from bed style, who lived on, the, on that same block. And we pulled up. As Biggie was right there, jumped out That's and started crazy. chopping it up. You know, we was talking about everything, music, everything that was going on. And then we, we started talking about you know, with him and him and Tupac, you know, them having beef and shit. And he was just like, he tripping on me and this, that, and this. So he was telling me everything. So I said, well, how about this? What I do, when I get a chance, I get that pocket and say, look, I talked to this nigga big and he, this what he said. All right. You niggas get this shit together and stop that shit. All right. But I couldn't get to him because it was all the other motherfuckers that when was you around. Him, talking about Pac. Get to Tupac. Okay, okay, okay. To, really talk to him about what he said. Wow. Uh, that's wild. He's trying to get the message so, so, to him. So you're telling me in some world that if you would have got to Tupac, maybe it this... It probably would, wouldn't have been as bad as it was because I would have pulled him to the side and really talked and to him like, look, to you. Yeah, he, this is what's going... This what this nigga told me. Pac, uh, we, had a, we had a motherfucking... We walked to the corner. Lil C was there. Wow. Uh, we walked to the corner, drunk private, private stock, all that shit because, you know, I'm like, private nigga, I want a green, private stock. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. It was a green, court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, a private okay, stock. I said, let's go. Me and we walked... Drinking private stock the whole nine. Did, did you think it would have got as deadly as it got? Uh, I didn't think it would be no. Gu- I didn't think it was gonna be any gunplay. Period. With well, any of that. Battles yeah. been happening like yeah. this hip hop. Yeah, like you motherfuckers gonna you squab would probably rush to, some, to tell them. It'd be some, 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 it'd be some squab and shit. That's it. Right. That, that's where I thought it was. You know, I didn't. I didn't. That's where I had it at. You know, but um. I, I, I'm sure the people that have been tuning in, they've been hearing him uh, uh, dropping a lot of names. And I want these people to understand that I've been on Def Jam as well. Mm-hmm. And Def Jam has a history, and they have a portfolio. When they sign artists, they want you to understand the artists that came before them. And one of the first people they tell you about is LL. Uh-huh. They say that LL, you know, Open up Def Jam or whatever, whatever, whatever. Then they say a, a, another artist, and then the third artist they always tell you is Warren G. Oh, wow. And what they say is Warren G. Save I know you're a humble guy. Save the label. Warren G single handedly saved Def Jam. So- <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't gotta oh, be yeah. humble about that. I know you're a humble guy, yeah. but I'm gonna brag yeah. for you. Like, That's all good. That shit is real. Like, th- just think about it. Just think about it. Whatever was happening, East Coast at the time could not hold on to whatever torch that we had on at that time. West Coast was killing it. And mm-hmm. you, single hand, this is this is what they said. It's not a rumor. No, it's all this is yeah. this is all facts. They'll yeah. sit down, they'll tell There's you. Financial like, statements that yes, show. Financial <laughs> statements to prove that. Yes, indeed. How the hell, how dope is that for you to, to know that? That you uh, oh, hold on, my bad. That you single handedly, they say you, you yeah. single handedly say fucking one of the most iconic, iconic. Rap labels of in history. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Warren G, man. How the, how, how the fuck does that feel, bro? Uh, I mean, it feels great. Uh, you know, it, it was just you know the love was 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 giving back to them for believing in me. Mm. You know, because I nobody wasn't really believing in me, and they gave me that that lane. You know, that lane to to get my music out so people could hear it and say, okay, this nigga is dope. He, he got dope. His shit is dope. And they opened that up, and the, and the reward to them for that was helping them. I didn't know they was in the situation that they was in. I, right. I was like, damn, when I when I learned it, they was, like, doing my shit with credit cards, like, credit cards. Wow. Like, you know, but <laughs> they had got me the bread and everything, and, um, you know, it... it it was, it was, it was just, it just felt great, man, just to be able to, to, for them to give me my shot and then me 
you blow up and then also help the company and then help the company to where it opens the door for Jay Z. I'm about to say you can think of it in a way Red where Man, yeah, yeah. Man, with Jay Z, DMX, DMX, Red Man, Red yeah, Man, they yeah. might not exist if if it wasn't for the movies. Yeah, it was, they, I'm crap. sure they would. <laughs> I'm saying they 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 they, they, right, they right, go right. for it, so they they probably would have got picked up by somebody. But yeah, yeah but I'm saying, but yeah. that, we got to deal with facts. With, yeah, with it is. yeah, that's, yeah, that's the facts. So, yeah, you know what I mean. And uh. But you didn't uh, know it back then that, that 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 was happening. That you helped. No, I, I didn't. Well, and they told way. me the story later on down the line. And then when I was seeing Ru- not Russell but Lior, he would put these. You know what? How much money they was making up? They was put that shit up right in the office on there. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. What? what the artist? One seventy barrack. What it made the comp? What, what it made the company? They, right. they, I seen a hundred million. I was like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my piece of this hundred million? Right, right, right. Is it you made a hundred million? I think no, you made... they made the company. Oh, oh, made the company. The it's totally. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. And, uh, okay. And uh, so I was like, damn. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I made money. But it, I, I think I, I wish I could have had a part of that hundred million. Right. You know. So, uh, you know, my thing is, is I, I. I love Def Jam, and I, cause you know, they gave me a shot to do my thing, man. And I, I asked, all I had asked was, um, just let me get my masters. Y'all gave LL his, mm, mm. you know. Let me get my masters. That's all I wanted, you know. Well, all I do want, you know. I, I don't want to wait till I'm old and the motherfucker. Right. You haven't gotten them. Not yet. But you passed I think 30 it's years, like, though, right? I'm at 30 in January. Oh, in January. They need to do it before that. They, they, they should give it before They're saying 35. Nah, oh. nah. Nah, oh. Def Jam should give it back yeah, to you, man. So, so it's just, it's just, and I'm just like, God Have damn. you spoken to the new president of Def Jam? I, the dude, from what I heard, the Luchin, the Luchin. Tunji. Nah, not him. The, the dude from UMG, the, the okay. big dog. Okay. Was the one that was just like, because Russell got at him like, can y'all, y'all, Give him his shit, you know. Like, but I'm like Russell. Y'all should have gave me the shit when y'all sold the motherfucker. Then you, right. you know what I mean? Right. Give me my shit, like y'all got LL shit. Right. Gave him his shit, but um. So I, I guess that's supposed to come to me in like about five or six years, five or six more years. But I'm like, shit, I don't want to be old and the motherfucker yeah, nah, trying to. I think uh, they should make a deal with you. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Nah, they should it, give it um, to you now. Yeah. But that that's all I want. Right. You know, for if. For me, helping you guys turn into a, a billion dollar company. Right. My shit ain't, ain't ain't making a gang of money like that every year. It made money. Right. Right. It ain't not. It ain't like Kanye's uh, uh, catalog or his, his <laughs> shit or, right. or you know guys like that. You y'all got all that shit. Y'all my shit is crumbs compared to all that shit over there. It ain't. No, nah, I ain't gonna say crumbs, but right. It's it's that's. Stupid right Do there. right by you. But let me ask you, if you was to get your masters back, would you re-release it? <laughs> How would you re-release it? I'd, re- I'd re-release it. I'd redo everything. Um, start, you know, join with a company that could do that ministering for me and also <laughs> the license and all this stuff for me and just do it like they doing, right. you know, and everything come around, making sure everybody that was involved get their, their, their cut. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody that was on there, I find it all out. Okay, boom, this comes to this person, this comes to that person. I set it up automatically where it goes to them so they know, where's my shit at? Nigga, you ain't, I don't want to hear that shit. I'm going to get you your bread. You're going to get your bread. You're going to get your bread. Everybody going to be happy. Everybody. And then I own this shit because this is something that my kids can, can, can have. You know, my master publishing. Right. And uh, that's, you know, that, that's all I w- wanted out the deal. Right. You know, out the whole thing. Now, back then, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't know what math <laughs> was. I didn't know what nothing was. I was right. just you didn't know publishing. I, that. I didn't. Okay. I didn't know nothing. I was just. I was just trying to, just do my music. I wanted uh-huh. people to hear my music. But I seen a, my uh, one of my first royalty checks. I was like, shit, this what the fuck you get for doing this shit? I was like, God damn! I went crazy after that. I started doing all kind of shit. Like, let me get some oh, more. Oh, it was good. I it was good. More. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was like, because I never, I didn't do a publishing deal. Yeah. I, 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 um, it, they was offering me that shit. They was like, we want to give you three hundred here, five hundred thousand here. I said, shit, if they offer me that much, I can make more than that. Right. So I said, hold up, let me, let me feel this out a little bit. Right. And uh, <laughs> when that shit happened, woo, I was like, God damn. And uh, 
But I did do administering an administering mm -hmm. deal because you you gotta have somebody to get that shit outside of the record company shit, the right. other shit. To the movies. Yeah, 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 the licenses and all that. But and uh, but uh, just just I wanted people to hear my shit. I wasn't caring about publishing or this, that, and this. I was just uh -huh. I just wanted people to hear my music and just to see be able to go around the world and, and tour for in Europe for three months, come home for two months after doing press and go back in about two weeks to do three months. I was in Europe five months doing press and, and tours and shit. And then being able to to rock in here in the United States and everybody love you from everywhere and be able to get out with Lionel Richie at a festival in Europe and the Bee Gees and Lauren Hill and the Fugees. Oh, we was all at the same Gig wow. in, a, at, in San Remo, uh, uh, Italy festival, you know, and I, I thought that shit was like, you know, a hip hop motherfucker. You like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm in here. <laughs> but look, it, it, it was a trip because it was quiet. The mm -hmm. whole motherfucking play, the whole show, right. my shit. So I'm thinking something wrong. Right. They not budging. They just sitting there looking at me the whole time. I'm performing. I'm trying to rock and shit. And I'm I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers ain't moving, so it's kind of taking me somewhere. I'm like, but I said, I, I got to keep going. So I did the whole entire show. And at the end of the show, when I was telling them, I said, thank you guys for letting me come out here. Them motherfuckers said, <sighs> They clapped for 15 to 20 minutes. They just kept doing this shit. They was just doing this. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this shit? And they had, like, that opera-looking shit. We was in a, a... You remember that shit, Ron? That shit had all that shit up there. And, it was crazy. I, I had fights over in that motherfucking everything. Yeah, fights everywhere, Mar. You Man, a wild I, I, motherfucker. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> now because when you from the states, you know whether it's New York or California, yeah. they love you out there. But then you you got you got that thug element too. You right. know, a couple times motherfuckers was testing my nuts. Right. I got, I'm 2-0. Oh. I had two knockouts out there, right. two of them. <laughs> yeah, one of them, one of the motherfuckers. I swear to God, this motherfucker was like, this was a big motherfucker. Like right. he was big, right. and uh, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, I was scared of the motherfucker. Yeah. Like this motherfucker, he gonna fuck me up. Okay. So, cause he he was he was mashing on me and one of the twins and my cousin Kevin. We was in the club and he just just started tripping like like. What's up? Like, you know, I'm like, nah, we cool, man. I, I signed the, the uh, shit for the girls and all that shit. I signed it. He still was like, this, that, that, like, whatever they language, it was in Swede. <laughs> and uh, so I told my cousin and twin, I said, look, you walk this way, you walk that way, and you walk that way, so they gonna won't know what's up. So I went that way, he walked that way, they walk, he walked that way. So they, like, it was kind of like we all went different ways. So I got a chance where I could... I don't know how it happened, but I, I could see out in the front of the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I told, I, I hollered, run, I, I, these motherfuckers up in there tripping. So I'm telling my guy they up in there tripping. So they sent security in there, brought us all out. So we coming out, they had them outside. They standing outside the door. So wait, they bringing us out the club. And I'm like, this motherfucker that mashed on me, I feel like a straight bitch. So I'm like, I can't go out like that. <laughs> You know, so I'm going. I'm coming out that motherfucker. So he's standing right there. So I, I had one opportunity to let this motherfucker know what time it is. He was standing right there. I just came. As soon as I came out, I just said, "Bop!" I hit that motherfucker hard as a motherfucker. That big motherfucker said, oh, he hit the, "That motherfucker hit the ground." When he came back up, it took the whole motherfucking forced to stop this motherfucker. Uh. And they had the shit in the news, everything the next day. Talking about Warren G. He had a fight with the king of the park. Some crazy oh, shit. shit. The king of the park. Yeah, yeah, and then the other one, I was in Italy. A motherfucker was tripping. I knocked him out right in the club. They thought my homeboy, he was doing security. They thought he did it. I walked over his ass and crept out. And me and my, my, my partner in crime, Kenny Mack, we walked out that motherfucker, hopped in the cab. And went to the hotel because I, I told Ron and I said, "Shit, I'm scared. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go come back home because that motherfucker looked. It looked bad. Like he was mm. doing this shit. <laughs> I was scared to death. But they got him up. They got him up. And uh, my folks was just like, Warren, you fucked him up, you know. But I felt bad because I, I thought I really I damaged his ass because I, I I hit him hard as a bitch. I'm, I'm not not hitting. I don't mean that as far as hitting a woman, but I hit him hard in the motherfucker. Right. But um. But Europe is a great place, man, and they they always told me, 
And whenever you want to come back here, you can always come back yeah, here. Sure I had, yeah. And Le- Annie, lives and, over there. Uh, Annie Lennox uh, had a chance to chop with her. Mm. Uh, uh, Tina Turner and that she okay. What's love got to do with it? Damn. While I was there in Switzerland, wow. yeah, and they they showed Zurich? me a lot Zurich of love. Uh, was that Zurich? Zurich, yeah, I love Switzerland. Yeah, Zurich. and uh, uh, it was a it was fun, man. I, it it was fun. I I love Europe, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but well, well, Ron, I'm sure Europe love you, but we wanted to tell you that you know oh, yeah. our show, our places to give off. All legends, they flowers. I'm so all good. Yes, so yes, we want to give right your there. flowers. Okay. Yep. Your brother Snoop said it's better than the Grammy because it come for his because it come for his people. No his people back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. We want to give you flowers. Shit, I'm they in don't Miami and I'm up at the gold. They go. I'm up here with the drink champ. That's right, yeah. goddamn. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, so, uh, and then we're gonna get into quick yeah, time with yeah. slime. So, I got one more question before we get into the quick time with slime. Um, and that's a, a drinking game that we're gonna mm-hmm. do. But let me just because here, here's 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 the deal, right? Dr. Dre is coming off of. NWA. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube goes to to to, to New York. He, mm-hmm. he does his album. The Bomb Squad. And he, he also yeah, does Squad, yeah. he also Thanks. does a like a disc record like towards No Vaseline. No Vaseline, yeah. right? Dre is in what I would like to call hip hop purgatory, right? Mm-hmm. That's like right where you you're not there, but you're not there. Yeah, yeah. He calls you Snoop. You bring the dog pal. How does this it's, chronic it's, session start? Like, how does this... How does... It started... Uh, I called Dre one day. I called him, you know, because I hadn't seen him in a while. That's what I used to do. I'd uh-huh. call him, you know, because he'd be at Audio Achievements or wherever. I'd say, man, can I come hang out? Because that's what I used just to get away from the hood. Excuse me, y'all. I had to burp real quick. No far. problem. And uh, so I had uh, called him, and he was like, he was like, I'm up, I'm having a bachelor party for L.A. Dre. So I was like, shit, um, can I come? He was like, yeah, come. So I, I went to the bachelor party and um, was in there hanging out. There was a lot of bad motherfuckers in there, like strippers and shit, because I wasn't, I wasn't used to all of that shit. Mm-hmm. Naked women and shit like that. And uh, so they playing music and shit. So, you know, I wasn't used to seeing it like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you and the strip, green the strip. At that time. I, was, was I, was, green. I was in the hood. We, wasn't were, have, we didn't have this shit like that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so uh, I asked L.A. Dre, I said, can I play this music? You know, because they kept playing the same shit. So I, I said, let me play this shit. So he was like, all right. So he popped that shit in. And that's cassettes back then. Mm-hmm. So he popped that motherfucker in. He started playing the shit. And there was a song we had called Long Beach is a Motherfucker. And uh, he heard the shit, and he was like, damn, that shit banging. He was like, who was this? I said, that's me, Snoop, and my homeboy, Nate Dog. Mm. So he was like, have you let Dre hear this shit? I was like, no, nah, because he didn't shot us down, right. you know, a few times here and there at family functions and shit like that. So um, he was like, Dre, listen to this shit. So Dre came over there and was bobbing his shit. You know, he was like, "Ugh, that's yeah." Snoop and yeah, he didn't and know it. Nate on the song, okay. He yeah, know it. okay. Good. Yeah, he didn't know it, so he was just like, oh, "Damn, who was this?" He was like, I, "I said that's two one three. I was like, "That's me, Snoop and Nate." He was like, "Damn, this y'all." I was like, "Yeah, shit, I've been trying to let you." Hear this. <laughs> and uh, uh, so he was like, "Look, come up to the studio on Monday." So I said, "All right, cool." And uh, so at that time, you know, Snoop was kind of like doing. We was we was still two one three, but at that time you you know how motherfuckers get in a motherfucker ear was trying to steer him off on his solo mission. Right. The kind of it was kind of like splitting us up a little bit, so we was all go, kind of going at it, and um, so I get back down to the hood because we was living with my homeboy Rump, Rump and Christine and Keisha and Kim mm-hmm. on Twentieth Street, mm-hmm. in uh Twentieth uh, and Am, and uh uh. So Snoop wasn't there, so I called him on the phone. I'm like Snoop. I'm like, I said, nigga, Dre want us to come to the studio on Monday. And he was like, nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. You don't believe that shit, boom. So he hanged the phone up on me. Snoop, he get nasty with me. He hanged the shit up, all kind of shit. So I call him back like, nigga, just, just please, just listen to me. Let me call this nigga on the three-way. 
and and so you could talk to him, so he could tell yourself. So I called, you know, back then you hit the do 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 do, and then you called, and I said Andre. I said Snoop don't believe. I clicked back over. I said Andre, Snoop don't believe that you want us to come to the studio on Monday. So Dre was like, this is this. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I want y'all to come to the studio on Monday. He was like, this ain't no Dr. Dre. He said <laughs> this is Dr. Dre. He, no, he said this is Dre. And when he, the way he said it's that voice that you know right. when he talking on the, the right. record, no like, yeah, with you, yeah, boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so we, you know, hung up the phone. You know, we was happy, kind of like celebrating and shit. Like, yeah, we get. What do y'all do? Push ups? What do y'all do? Like, what now, we start drinking push-ups. silver satin okay. Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 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 silver satin and Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay. That was okay. our drink back then. And then y'all like be going on Monday. Yeah. Okay. And so, so Monday came. Uh. Monday came, Rump was the only transportation we had, my homeboy Rump, because we was living with them. So he had a, a, a old Ford, like, kind of raggedy Ford, so we and that motherfucker, we took the street all the way to Hollywood, and you know how you get to the light and you put that motherfucker up in the thing, you like, ah, 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 ah. and then you hit drive, boom, and then y'all take off. We did that shit all the way to Hollywood. <laughs> to sell our records. <laughs> and then, and when we got there, um, you know, we walked in. Dre was right there. DLC was in there, and uh, Dre threw on a a, a beat. It, it had the hold on, uh, hold on to that doom, 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 doom. Yeah, okay. mixed with payback, the big payback. Uh, damn, boom, I want boom, that boom. beat right now. It was the boom, 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 the James Brown song. Yeah. It was hard as fuck. So. Snoop did a song to it called This Is A Gangster's Life. And that was the first record that was recorded with Dre. You know, he was like, this nigga Snoop is hard as fuck. But where the fuck is that record at right now? I don't, Dre got it on tape. <laughs> Snoop we probably, need, I think Snoop, that Snoop may have it on, on tape because he got all of the masks Come on, and everything Snoop, let from, that from, from on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Dead Snoop on so all that shit. that's technically the first, even though it wasn't called Chronic. That was the, the first shit. Oh, it was, it wasn't called the chronic. chronic. It was before it was just the them Chronic. Just, yeah. Yeah. Before the Chronic, right. I'm saying. And so we just kept doing music. We kept working and working. And then Dre was like, look, why don't y'all move up out of Long Beach and come stay with me up here in the valley? You know, get out the hood, because it was a lot of shit going on. You know, motherfuckers was going in and out of the county jail, all kind of shit. All our homeboys was, at the lowest number was 15 years. They was all in jail Dang. for 15 and up. Dang. You know, so and now uh, all everybody out pretty much. Everybody is out. Is everybody out? <laughs> Except for uh, Ant Dog ain't out, huh? Duck feet. You know, remember we used to call it Duck feet. Uh, uh, and uh, God damn it. So we mo- we moved out. We moved up there with Dre, and that In and that's valley. when that's when when it all started. You know, that's when I I learned how to. Do the MPC 60, learn how to splice tape. And me, him, and DOC would just be in the studio just doing music and shit all day and then going back to Solar back and forth. And, and in the process, we had that's how we met Corrupt. We was at the Roxy in Hollywood. Mm. And the homegirl Diamond, you know, she was, you know, Snoop was had a Diamond a was a singer, right? No, she, Diamond rapped. She rapped? Yeah, she rapped. Okay. Yeah, and she, uh... So Diamond was like, uh, like my homeboy corrupt is hard, nigga, da 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 da, you know, banging on us, and you know Snoop had a name, so I was like, shit, my nigga, my Snoop, Snoop hard too, what's happening? So Snoop and corrupt battle? Yeah, battle. Oh, wow. I've never heard this. Right in if front of the right in, right in front that. of the motherfucking Roxy. It might be recorded. Somebody might have that shit. You know, I, I might have that shit somewhere. I got a check. I'm serious. I got a gang of shit. I got to pull it out, but. Uh, uh, that nigga corrupt was so motherfucking hard. Corrupt. Him and Snoop Ew. was battling. That nigga said, "You got a pinky ring on your finger, and that is true. But if you look at mine, I got one too." And we was like, "Oh, who corrupt shit. said that?" Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> so we was like, yeah, "Oh shit." But they was, you know, Snoop. He was, was from Philly at back the time, right? Did you know, he was. He was. No, nah, he had well, already he been. He already been in LA. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and uh. Uh, shit, we were, they was battling, they was going back and forth. You know, Snoop was busting, he was busting. So it, it came to a point where he hard, he hard, he hard. So it wasn't no, right. no it no. wasn't a winner. Right. It was like they just, it, they just, just broke it up. Like we're gonna have to continue this shit. Right. So I, I went over to Corrupt. I said, look, nigga, let me get your number. Took his number and I called him probably about maybe about a week later. 
And I told him, I said, nigga, come up here to the valley. I want to do a demo tape on you. Mm. So I brought him up there, <clears throat> did a demo tape on him. It was called, uh, we had a, the, the main record was called What More Can I Say? It may be on YouTube or, on, you know, on the, uh, the demo tape may be on YouTube. And uh, it was What More If It Can I Say? Oh, oh if it what more if it can I say? Oh, oh, oh. and then corrupt just doom, boom, boom, ba boom, boom. Vocabulary, It was Bobby, I think it was Bobby Caldwell. It might have been Bobby Caldwell, I'm not sure, but it, it was that. That nigga towed that motherfucker yeah, up. So I let Dre, I let Dre and Shug them hear him. Boom. They heard him, and then that's when they signed Corrupt. Mm. Corrupt had had Broomfield, and them. they came over. That was his big homies from, from 60s. They came over, and they talked to Death Row and, and made that whole deal happen right there because I did a demo with Corrupt. That's how they discovered him. Let me ask you, because um, I seen an interview mm -hmm. with Big U. Mm -hmm. Big U says that if Big U was home, Corrupt would have never signed to, to Death Row. Do you think that's that's... Shit, I don't know, but shit, you know, money talking bullshit walk. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, he could have got some money if he was in, right. you know, if he was the main guy with him. They, you got to get your money. Because at the time, Crippin let me... and blood ain't got nothing to do with that's, the green. That was my, that, that's actually my question because, yeah. see, us from the East Coast, we didn't understand, mm -hmm. like, you guys having war, right? That's one. Yeah, yeah. And then... Us, un, us us adapting to that life, yeah. us understanding yeah. that that's that's y'all culture. Yeah. But then death row was something like that was special because when we seen yeah. NWA, we seen all blue. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Then we seen like I, I think there was like I forget a, a, a blood gang and it's all blood. Like we we had never seen yeah bloods and crib. I think I believe yeah. death row. Was no, the but first. ruthless had Booya was down with ruthless. Yeah, and they were yeah. they were bloods. Well, they was they was kind of blood. They were like Booyah tribe of blood yeah. and Crips. And Crips? Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, see, I yeah. Didn't they, know that. they had some that was Crips because Roscoe was from Booyah tribe. He's a Crip. He, okay. I know him from Long Beach. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, that that I think that that uh, if he was out there at that time, he would have been able to get a nice check out of it. Right. And still, so that probably would have kept a lot more of the balance instead mm -hmm. of it was like more of these dudes, right. like tripping on this what this side of right. the red room. Shit wouldn't have been none of that shit because right. he would have been he had more, you know, more control of it, you know, because he know more. He, Cause, he's a a, a, a a gangster that that know the politics. Because that was uh, more of an LA thing, right? Like, yeah. I'm asking you that. What I mean by Bloods and Crips. Mm -hmm. Long Beach is famous for being. Just the yeah, crips. it's all crips and London. I heard you don't see no red out there. No, nah, <laughs> I mean you you might you got some. I'm sure it's bloods that live in Long Beach. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know under the radar, but you know motherfuckers ain't tripping like that, huh? Right. Oh, you said no. Oh, no. <laughs> you said no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, Long Beach and Compton is di damn near the same city. We like this. It's one street that separates Long Beach and Compton, and that's Alondra. Wow. And um. But I'm 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 sure under the radar it it, it was it was some that yeah. they're not banging but just <clears throat> getting away, huh? Well, it's a crib city, but you know, hey, right. fuck it, I, right. let me. That's my bad. Right. Shit. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but, but I mean, yes, it's a crib city. Um, I was born in that motherfucker, so so so. <laughs> that was my next question. As a person that's born and raised. Mm -hmm. In Long Beach, when was the first time did you see that opposite color? Shit, uh, did you have to go to? Well, LA? I lived. I, I, I lived. My mom. My mama moved me to Compton. Oh, you wow. know, with my dad, uh, in to in Kelly Park, and uh, you know, we. I came up there. I was from Long Beach. You know, my mom was like saying that I was going in the wrong direction. That she witnessed. She witnessed the. Uh, 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 incident. One of my OG homeboys, Big Kool Aid, came and scooped me up on the bike, and um, took me down the street. And he told me, he said, as soon as I pull up in the driveway, it's gonna be a motherfucker sitting on the porch. He said, get off and you know, get handle your business. So we pull up in that motherfucker. I jump off the handlebars. I commence to whoop, 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 and I knew the nigga, but I couldn't go. I, did, I had to. Oh, well, he was gonna get in my ass, so That's I had to get off. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> right. 
And after that, and she witnessed that shit, and then that's when she was like, you got to go move with your daddy. And uh, sent me to Compton, and, and as soon as I got up to Compton, and shit, Compton Andre and Tyree. So, so you're huh? telling me at that point, Compton was a better place than Long Beach? Yeah, but as far as my mama saying it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, and uh, but I was still I was still catching the I was still, I was still catching the bus back down to Long Beach. But when I got there, uh, Andre and Tyree, you know, they had me out. You know, I was a you young kid. Andre, we talking about Drake. Yeah, yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah and, uh, so we we was uh, we, we don't got that ability. We was in uh, we used to have battle battle of the blocks, and they would I used to battle all the dudes my age in the boxing gloves. So it was mm. me. My homeboy, Big Brucey, my homeboy, Stank, Raul, Hesey, all of us, Versailles. Uh, it was a, we had a whole little crew. We all used to box each other. Mm -hmm. And when I first met them, and you know, I, we wasn't, like, tight. And uh, so Andre and Tyree started calling me Kibbles. They called me Kibbles and Bits. <laughs> Kibbles and Bits? Yeah, they, like the, the dog food? There. Yeah, they were, like, they were like Kibbles and Bits. So when I used to go out there to box, I'd say, get him, Kibbles. Right. And that's how I'd go out there try to right. boom, 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 try to squab. But it, right. it was my homeboy Stank. Uh -huh. That was that was like, that was the lockup of the century. Me and him, we was locking up. Mm. Stank was fast in the motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga was tagging me. He, I ain't gonna lie. He, he, he didn't beat me. It was... It was it was it was it was neck or draw, <laughs> but that that was one fast motherfucker. He was he was vicious, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, you know that that was that was what I went through. It, and there was another kid uh, named BB, another dude named BB. He was younger than me, but this motherfucker was knocking grown men out, like mm -hmm. knocking them, like, like, like I used Debo? to fuck with him. He like, wasn't he was he was yeah he was a, like he Debo? was a Debo, but he. He was just a stocky, like, Mike mm -hmm. Tyson type. Mm -hmm. He was knocking motherfuckers out. I, now, I was like, shit, I don't know if I... I wouldn't fight B.B. Uh -huh. back then, but if I had to, I would have. <laughs> B.B. was B.B. B.B. rest in peace right. from uh, Kelly Park. That was that was my rest dog, you know? Baby James from Neighborhood. I, like, all of them, all... I grew up with all of them. You know, Manuel. Uh, that, yeah, it was, it was just a bunch of... You know, I grew up, and they used to have Battle of the Blocks. Where we would box, each block would, our block was T block, and we battled Caress or Mario. Easy e block was Mario. We battled the different blocks. Whether you said it was boxing battle, it was it was boxing. It was it was a uh, football. It was baseball. We did just a bunch of different things. We would just do like a. It was like the hood Olympics, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> and uh, that's dope. Actually, that shit was that's it was dope. fun. I'm trying that to do the hood Olympics fun. in the video right now. Yeah, that shit was fun as fuck. But that that was. The fun I would have in Compton, but Long Beach, it, it was, it was, it was, it was serious. Yeah, and then all my homeboys was going to jail at a young age. We was playing sports and shit, but then we, as we got in that teen era, it was kind of like shit. We started going, you know, my homeboys started going to like my guy, my homeboy went, he went to jail. You know, it was like young camp shit, and I was like, damn, lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, one of my favorite songs of all times. I need mm. to know how this studio session went. Mm. It ain't no fun. Wow. If the homies can't but have I ain't gonna lie. I actually yeah, walked in that session. I walked into that session. So, Wait a second. You walked into the session? I walked into that session when they, had, when they had just started doing it. Like, when they first started doing it. Actually, they was... Actually, they was... I don't think Nate's part was on there, but Snoop... Uh, yeah, Nate's part was on there. Uh, Snoop, uh, Corrupt had did his, Snoop had did his, and they had an open verse. I was like, shit, let me get on that motherfucker. And they was like, shit, go ahead, write mm. a verse. So I wrote that motherfucking verse. I was fresh off of Endo smoking all that shit, too. I'm so thinking this is a whole was party. Like, this wasn't a party in the session? It what, did, no naked did. bitches? No, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, all right. No, 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 all right, let's get to that part. Oh, that was, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was always in the death process. <laughs> Okay. He's a the death process is what nothing but was a party in bitches, danger. <laughs> drink. It was a party. Right. And all kind a of dangerous shit. Dangerous party. <laughs> Fucking all that shit was going on. You know, all that shit was going on in those sessions. Them death processes back then was it was it was it was how y'all make music with that craziness. Just had you know what I mean it's, it was this that's what helped us make music. Right. All of that shit. <laughs> 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 no, I ain't gonna lie. 
listen to me. You could feel it in the music. There's, there's certain eras that, like, you know, you hear the music, you be like, I just wish I was there. Like, yeah. that early death row, like, before, like you said, wow. I can see what you say, where the money came and changed. Yeah. But, like, when y'all yeah. was just, just, you know, starting out fresh, yeah. I could tell... Y'all really got along with each other in the yeah. beginning. I could feel yeah. tell everyone was like, "Well, the beginning." Of course, yeah. I mean that, that that's I the mean, golden we, years, we, we, though. We, right, right. It's the beginning. It's the, and it's all new to everybody. That's, yeah. But, but, but yeah. by the way, EFN, that's the that's, that's for everyone. Once, for every golden once era, money right. gets involved too much, it always changes. Uh, even Absolutely. If it's just this yeah. this amount, it changes. But that beginning part yeah. is 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 always and the with, motherfucker. With, with Popeye's chicken, we used to have. We used to yeah, get yeah, a, I'm starving right now. Please, man. Oh, okay. Let me shut it out. You fasting? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh my hey, why goodness! Why you throw me up? Foul the guy. Well, I damn sure want to give me some Cuban food or some. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoever it's... that chef is that Cali got. Oh, Melissa, I, I, he don't, he don't let her out. He don't oh let her yeah, out. I, I would That's love for that motherfucker to yeah, cook yeah, something yeah. for me. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's pick up the collar. Let's pick up the collar. Yo, he, oh, yeah. Yo, 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 yeah. It's, 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 I'm saying it right? Snipe store, store is looking great. Look, so let's, let's get the scoop. Um, Snipe store looking great, Collar, man. Um, um, Talking to Collar right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's go to uh, Quick, Quick Time, time with Slime. slime. explain to him? The yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to give you two options. Uh-huh. You pick one, we good. But if you say both or neither, then we drink. Okay. okay. Drink a shot. Uh, so who, who, you got a ringer? You got Sonny nah, your ringer? I'm, I'm gonna drink some coffee, man. Uh, that's your shot? Yeah, that's my nah, shot. Then you gotta drink. Let, let Sonny, yeah, let Sonny drink. You gotta drink some. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. Sonny will drink for me. All right, cool. All right. Let's go. You want me to you set, it set it off? You guys set it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in. I don't see none of your shit. I, I see, I see it. Uh, I see it now. Ready? I'll now, set it. Now I don't see it. Can I borrow your so, lighter? Of course. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get let me get my shot ready. Okay, where is my? Shot? I got the first one. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Dre or Daz? Dre. I right. love Daz shit. Right. I think Daz will pick Dre, too. Oh, yeah. That's the... Uh, Tupac or DMX? Shit. Uh, <clears throat> both. Okay. Oh, we're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, serious, serious. Oh. Huh? Okay, you drink it for me, Sonny. Oh, oh fuck. DJ uh, Quick or Battle Cat? Shut up, Battle Cat uh, at the Ooh, 50th. Quick? Uh, shit. Both. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have poured so heavy. Yeah, yeah, don't pour. Yeah, yeah, give him, give him oh, light. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, All right, shit. this one, no, I'm no, changing it up. I'm going to do it. No, I'm, no, no I'm changing I'm changing it up because this is, this, is, this is why you viral. This is, this is well, I'm not viral, viral, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying Call to be viral. Call you EFNV, and the V stands for vi viral. I'm not trying to be viral. Ice Cube, Ice Cube or Biggie Smalls? Nah, nah, that's not cool, man. Shit. This is the, the, your famous argument, brother. It's not Stand by it. It wasn't an argument. Stand by it. It wasn't an argument. Stand by it. You asked me who According my... to the, what the internet they asked says. Me who my favorite artist was. I said <laughs> Ice Cube. I'm going to have to go with Cube on that one. Okay. Did you got to, you got to, and it, it ain't just because he from the West Coast. You got to look at all that shit the he The catalog did. and everything. Exactly. The history. Did you see that argument online? Of him and uh, but what? Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. Uh, about, uh, with uh, Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah bro. Yeah, but I'm, I got I to I I roll with Cube. I, I love Biggie now. Don't get me no, wrong. That's the thing. Biggie, is my, Biggie. Biggie is my era. It makes yeah. it seem like I don't and, like Biggie. I love Biggie. Yeah, right. but that nigga Cube got, he got, have you ever heard Summer Vacation? Mm. That's that's it. Oh, my that's God. It. Uh, oh, have, you, have they heard the, the uh, what, what mixtape was that? Jacket for Beats? Mm. <laughs> Come on now, fuck the police. Mm. He was running all that, he was writing all that shit for easy. And then he, this record, No Vaseline, is one of the best this record no of all Vaseline. time. No Vaseline. Well, this is how you know he was hard, because Easy E said, Ice Cube, write the rhymes, that I say. I said, yeah. this nigga's ill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That nigga said it in this, his own hey, rhyme. This DJ played No Vaseline. <laughs> That's hard. But how hard you gotta be? How hard you gotta be to like, yo, <laughs> say this. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Read but that's how ill easy it was, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Easy, yeah. you didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you want me to blow myself up? Yeah, blow yourself up. Yeah. Ice Cube right the rhyme. That, yeah. that shit is hard. Yeah, they 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 played that motherfucking Vaseline in the in the comedy store one day we was in there. 
It was me, well, Snoop, and Dre, and all of us, and Shook. All of us, we was in the comedy, because that was our spot. We used to go to the comedy store. That was our hangout. Wow. Chilling. The DJ played no Vaseline, boy. Wow. You talking about motherfucker getting his ass whooped. <laughs> no Vaseline is hell, Dre man. grabbed the, the arm of the, the 1200. Zzz, just like that. And they come, everybody, we... we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was gunplay in niggas back then? It wasn't gunplay. Okay, it was no. ass. No, he no. said gunplay no, from oh, Miami. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 it was, yeah, it was, that was straight gunplay right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, that shit was that shit was a trip, man. It it was it was a uh, it was more like like motherfuckers getting beat up and shit like that. It wasn't because that's when you know Dre did uh, uh, Dre Day. You know, and then Snoop was like on the street now. Let's mission. Mm-hmm. He was getting that cube on that, <laughs> and he was getting that. Um, yeah, and, and at Luke, at Luke, Luke, and and the Tim dog. Yeah, Tim dog. Uh, how did? Yeah, me, Luke. Me, and Luke is my nigga. I, I used to fuck with. I fuck with Luke. Let, Listen, let me ask you the truth. I knew why Tim dog caught astray. I knew why Easy E mm-hmm. caught astray. I never caught why did they go at Luke. Did Luke do something? There was Earth? something back then. Uh, I, I don't even I don't remember. remember. I, some, I think I think I, he has, has said something about that if we wasn't gangsters out out here out on the West Coast. But you something know like that. But, but you know what's crazy? The Two Life Crew, the uh, Brother Marquis oh and and what's the other and Fresh Kid Ice. They were both from L.A. Yeah, Brother Marquis, my God, that Brother, was my God, Luke. Yeah, yeah. From L.A. I mean, I don't know if they were Y'all born all out from there. L.A. You from L.A. too? God hey, damn. LA, LA. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know we rep Miami we, right, we yeah. raised in Dade County yeah, right. so yeah it's, it's crazy though but yeah there was something there because yeah, I never understood that as a fan obviously I wasn't I don't uh, remember does yeah. anybody remember what, what the beef started with with Luke no, it was I something, thought it was some I'm independent you, it was shit something like, I don't remember no, it the was, gangster shit it was something shit. about y'all they ain't gangsters it was something about they, about they wasn't the LA ain't they ain't, they ain't gangsters some shit wow. what, was we, the, what was the later response Cowards and Compton get sprayed in Dade wow Later on, after that, like you know, after years after that, uh, Luke had a show, um, Luke's Peep Show, and we did Luke's yeah. Peep Show with him in uh, in Malibu on this private beach. Oh, that nigga Luke was cold oh. with it. He's a fool. Luke he, is he, wild. Oh, that's my guy. He's a wild boy. Oh my god, Luke he is had wild, some crazy man. shit going on. That shit. That, I mean, I was like, this. did you go to How Can I Be Down when he had the boat ride? I didn't do that. Oh my god, that was wild. <laughs> Luke is the man. Wow. The man, I ain't gonna lie, he had some cold shit going on like that with that Luke's Peep show. No, the Luke's Peep show was oh out of control. Oh my god, that shit was that shit was dope. Right. We even we played football on the sand. It was three on three. It was me, Snoop, and my homeboy Lou Dog against Luke and and two other guys. We was playing sand football out in the uh, in the. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you one of this uh, one of the one of the the, the things the challenges he had with with. With the ladies, mm-hmm. you know, back, you know, I ain't going hard on these ladies or nothing like that. But he had this challenge. It was called bobbling for dicks. <laughs> hey, he had, we want, we look, he that. had some shit. He had some shit. We had the girl. It was like, like, <laughs> like, yeah. And they had to get in there to bobble the dick. Get the, you know, get the. <laughs> That shit was crazy. It was that, that was one of the challenges. I know he I know I know he gonna be like that nigga Warren crazy. But that was a call. Nah, that was Luke, a call. Luke that was a call. A that was a call challenge. It was it was a way. That was a, a for the fans. Like sake. I said, it was a lot of stuff. There was no dick you could say for the no fans. Luke show was cold. There was like, apples. Yeah. Was apples. That shit was crazy. And uh uh it was it was a lot of crazy shit, man. Shout out to Life Crew. Uh, that, that, to that was but we didn't get to the bottom. That was in the beginning stages, like way back. We was, we was. I think that was in the early. That was early chronic stages. Yeah, when we did that. But that, you know, we had squashed all that stuff. It was, you know, and, and became cool and, and still cool to this day. You know, Luke is our guy. We gotta ask Luke. We I, I, did yeah. we ask Luke when he was on here? No, uh, he said some <laughs> other shit though. You I know think, what? I don't think Luke we remember. Used to come to, they used to come to the uh uh uh. Uh, wet and wild pool parties back then. Everybody used to come to Ed Lover, Dr. Dre, all of them used to come to the, the Wet and Wild. I was the youngest nigga in there. Mm. Young Buck. 
<laughs> in there with just seeing titties and you know at that age it was like you look damn a lot of titties I was He's like still impacted from yeah the early I'm titties go on YouTube and look up wet and wild pool parties mm. with they shit that shit was cracking you don't get that no more but I tried to I tried to re redo that. Uh, when I was on Def Jam, me and Chris Lighty threw a, a part, a mansion party, right. where I had everybody down at they, they, I think Beverly Hills Hotel. I had everybody shuttled up to the party, right. and I had the shit where I had three levels. When you walk before you even get in there, good, it's a bar at the door. Mm. Drink right here. You can't get in there and you get you a drink before you get in there. Then I had a food level where you come on this floor, you eat on this floor. Then I had another level where you play cards and do dance and do all that shit. Me and Chris had that shit laid the fuck Damn. out, man. We and that shit was, that was cold. Good. Rest in peace, Chris Lighty. That, that, that was my that was my dog, man. Good dude, man. All right, so let's move good on to dude. the next one, and we're gonna mm -hmm. go back to Chris Lighty. Mm -hmm. Um, Ice T or LL Cool J? Mm. Whew. Ice T. Right. You only that West Coast shit, okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I don't care to see you in your hotel, nigga. Come on. Six in the morning, police just, back my yeah, door. Yeah, that's I'm all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Don't <laughs> leave, leave it there. Leave it there. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Boys in the hood and menace of society. I'm with you. Oh shit. I, I'm a huge LL fan. Don't mm. get me. I'm. A, I love LL. I'm a huge LL fan. Mm. Yep. Well, the next shit, I, I thought I, I was. It, I, I used to yeah. think I was cut creator. Shit, I oh, ain't never told creator. him that. I said, man, let, I to say, man, I, let me be cut creator. I was inspired by cut creator. Straight up. Boys in the Hood or Menace to Society, movies. Uh. Oh wait. Uh. Damn. Let me see. I'm gonna have to say uh. Menace to Society. You skipped one too. I'm gonna oh, you know what? I'm gonna say both on that one. Oh, I come on, say, man. You're making a drink. Both on that one. You're making a drink. Cheers. <laughs> no, I didn't skip. Oh, shut my lie about I just switched the name. I know. That's why. You kind of. Yeah, yeah, nah, but go to. Um... You're gonna say Biggie and Big L? Yeah, good. Okay, I did. Good. Biggie or Big L? Big L. Really? Yeah, Big L was I'm hard. I'm a Big L a fan, so it's a, it's Big L was hard in the motherfucking. You fuck with Big L? Yeah, I, yeah, shit, yeah. You ever met him? I didn't get a chance to meet him, but Big all the homies, dope, man. Yeah, all, all the homeboys, you know, I heard his music. I was like, this nigga hard. He was on some thug shit way back in there before a lot of gang yep. gangster shit was coming out. Yep. He was yep. vicious. And he had bars, too. No, yeah. he was super bars. Super bars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, damn. I, I, uh, Could you met him? Rest in peace, Big L. By the way, and yeah, Biggie as yeah, well. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I mean, Biggie yes, and indeed. Biggie, Biggie, Biggie was my guy, too. It's a freestyle. With me, Snoop, Tupac, and Biggie on. It's on YouTube. And you? Yeah, we was at the Glam Slam. I wasn't no hell of a freestyler, but I was trying Princess my... <laughs> <laughs> which, which Glam Slam? Which group? In uh, Princess Club in L.A. Because he had one out here, too. Yeah, but this was the one in, um, wow. on Third Street up in downtown L.A. And uh, that's wild. We uh, we, we I'm telling you, Pac and Biggie was they, they them niggas was. I don't understand how that shit got went this way and that way. They both Gemini. It was ridi they ridiculous. Was all, we was all we was all fucking with each other like all in the same freestyle and having a ball. At we was at different shows and shit, doing shit, partying, all kind of shit. Wow. You know that shit just tripped me out. How this shit went that way, that went that way. Crazy. Yeah, go to the next one. It's L.A. shit. Nipsey. <laughs> I gotta get L.A. <laughs> Nipsey or Easy e Uh, shit. Did you meet Nipsey? I'm gonna have to say Easy e uh, You know, I love Nipsey, but Easy e is is one of the guys who... The beginning. Who, yeah, it's the beginning of, 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 of a lot of this gangster shit from the gangster shit on the West Coast. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, MC Light or Queen Latifah? Oh, wait. God damn. <laughs> I'm going to have to say both on that because okay. uh, <laughs> both of them is my homegirls and they both dope. Take a shot. They both Fuck. dope. <laughs> Shit. Y'all going to have shimmy, me drunk shimmy. in the motherfucker. I'm going to have a, a I'm whole headache, huh? I'm, nah, just drinking I'm like on a drink right. champs, man. Yeah, Shit. Yeah, that's right, guys. <laughs> He fasted, but I'm I'm fucked up with you right now. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> well, uh, I think you should do the next three. That's all West Coast. All, all LA. Come on, man. We we yeah. all hip hop right now, man. What's going on? I, I, oh yeah. I, I like I like I like me supporting the West Coast, man. Oh yeah. Ugh. All right. This one is the crew right here came up with this badass or little half dead. <laughs> 
Hey, y'all, can y'all, that, then y'all crazy. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for uh, taking it out on them. Yeah, Everyone I, takes I, it out I, on I us. Still, I already hey, knew. Yeah, it's yeah, still. It's it's half been dead is my homeboy, but I got to roll with badass on that one. Okay. okay. Yes, indeed. Go ahead. All right, chronic or doggy style? That's going to be hard. I would uh, imagine. Shit. I'm going to have to go with the chronic. Mm-hmm. Because that was that was all that of us as a, as a that was that that was all that was the same element that was on Doggy Style, but it was more of well, god damn, let me let me think about this. I mean, that did you have to you know what I'm at? I I I, I, I take that both? back. I'm gonna have to go with both. Let's go. I, I, I had to bring that one back. I had to cheers, I had to cheers, rewind cheers, on cheers, that. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, but but in all respect. If it wasn't for the chronic, that's what led to the doggy style. Uh, yes, it did. But you feel that you had the same input on doggy style that you had on yeah, the chronic? Yeah, it was. The, it was. The, I, no, I didn't have the same. Input. I didn't produce nothing on the on the uh, doggy style. Nothing on doggy style. I got, let me really? think about it now. That's wait a minute now. now. Wait a minute. Let me we think. I got, already. You fucked us up. Well, I have to think. I have to think about it. With with what 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 did I do? No, nah, but I'm fucked up that you didn't produce anything on doggy style. Being that Snoop was your man. Gotta ask Snoop that shit, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying, you you came... No, I'm not trying to make anything. No, that's a lot wild. of shit that I'm I have. Saying, you it's came a, into a, Chronic, you, you assisted yeah, in Chronic. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot How of shit. How do you shit. not assist on Doggy Style, which is... No, it was it was uh at that time that was kind of like that in that in that mist mist of uh. If I was Dre, I would say yes, assist me with this too. Yeah, but that was in the midst of the me being with Def Jam. Right. Oh, they, now you're doing whole, your own thing. Doing yeah, your own. all right, and, so uh, that's what it is. All right. Yeah. I wanted to do some shit with on Doggy Style shit, you know, just like uh, this DJ. This DJ. D- this DJ. My notes. Snoop helped write that shit, and he did. He was on the hook, mm. but. Death Row wouldn't let Snoop, they wouldn't clear him. They was like, no, fuck that. We ain't clearing shit. And uh, uh, so I said, you know what? Okay, I got to figure this shit out because it's going to look crazy with, you know, Snoop not doing this hook. You know, so I took Snoop's voice and I made it chipmunk. So if you listen, if you listen under, under you this, it up? That you'll hear like, yeah, you hear the chipmunk voice. Under, that's Snoop. And I, re, I, did the, I redid the hook. He right. wrote the hook. I redid the hook. Is that the first AI? <laughs> yeah, you got the Warren G. Hey. 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 Warren G. Spread the rumor. Warren G. He's the first AI. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Even uh, uh, okay now, and, and I'm just you know getting this, letting people know this. You know, corrupt help with writing. Do you see? You yeah. don't see what I see. Every he day. got credit for it. Yeah. Okay. I, did I, I don't know the credit. Did, I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't mean to fuck it up. No, no, it's all good, my not. But that's what we did with each other. Right. I didn't done a gang of shit for them. I, I ain't right. So, I didn't it say was, like nigga. It, I did, it was synergy. Everybody. Yeah, was everybody working, would, would, working, would do anything. Like I did. That's just like I said. Like and with that's the what chronic. It, it felt like that. Like. Y'all were just working. That's it. And, we go well, this person and the business goes, was later. Yeah, no, we went, got, we didn't even we didn't even, we didn't even up. do the business. The business. Was fucked up. No, we never did the business on none of that shit. So whoever somebody did this for that person, that's for you. It was if this totally person creative. did that, it was all creative. Yeah, right. That's for you. That's for your shit. That's for your shit. That's for your shit. We didn't come back saying I wrote this shit and did that. No, I, we, that, that's yours. That's yours. That's yours. Right. But That's other crazy. than that, shit, I did my shit. I ain't, you know, I, you know, I've had people help out in certain on certain things. You know, everybody get help. You know, when we was in there doing the chronic and, and different songs, it was a lot of a lot of help. You know, even like on when Mr. Grimm is rapping on Endo Smoke and on the H and R Puff, the stuff in your lungs, smoking mm. on the chronic, Whee! getting straight sprung. You know that that's my style. Uh-huh. But go ahead, you. I, I helped with that. Would help with. Helping him write that part, you know what right. I mean. So, so it's just inputting here and there, but that's just how we how we work. It wasn't no nigga. I want this. I want that. And I want that. And I take that. Snoop will tell you. Mm. He didn't done a gang of shit for a gang of motherfuckers, and ain't ain't charge them nothing. Ain't asked for nothing. Same with me. I didn't done shit like you got to get yours. I got to get mine. I don't. I ain't. I ain't seen not one check from that. Really, not one check from that. I ain't seen no money from Endo Smoke. And that went gold. 
I wasn't on my shit back then, you know. I, you know, I've been. I could go after them now. You should see the royalty check that they send me from Sony. Uh, that should be thirty five cent. How the fuck is it thirty five cent? Motherfucking this motherfucker, this motherfucker went I gold. Eating. Yo, yeah. and you know by now the motherfucker is, is 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 beyond gold. Now shit, that shit probably so many different platinums that you can't even name it. Should take me more gas to put it in the bank. <laughs> you know what I mean? So how the fuck Yo, is y'all gonna? Five. But it's right. my it's my it's my fault because I ain't had a, a hyena to go get off in their motherfucking ass and right. out of all these motherfuckers, all of them. Mm -hmm. I guess the drink kicking in, huh? Yeah. I'm motherfucking. Last West Coast, and I'll take it from Hey, you. I'm motherfucking and all kind of shit. <laughs> all right, we said Chronic or Darkest stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, after that. The game or Eminem? Eminem. Really? Eminem is dope. I mean, I, I ain't saying game ain't dope, but Eminem is, is, is you got to look at, look at the, what the motherfucker wrote, uh, things just ain't the same for gangsters. Mm. The, he wrote that. That's one of my favorite fucking for Dre, songs. For Dre. For Dre. Right. Just so we got to clear it up because people don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, uh, I thought Jay-Z uh, wrote that. Nah, nah. No, no. no, Eminem wrote that. Eminem wrote that? Jay-Z wrote... Uh, still Dre. Bling, bling, bling. Still Dre. Yeah, 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 he wrote Still, still, Dre. still, Dre. He wrote still Dre. Eminem. Yeah. How the fuck can you write this for this nigga and the shit sound like it's straight? <laughs> it's him, yeah. <laughs> because M is a, have, he's have a watch, student of the game. Yeah, so it's like... Good point. Good point. And and the motherfucker went diamond plus diamond plus diamond went, plus like, all a that multiple shit. Something. And he he's 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 talented, you know. And I ain't like I said, I ain't I, don't, I ain't taking shit from game. Game is dope too. Yeah. You know, game is dope, but it, it's just it's they they it's different. You know what I mean? Like like you say, he's a student. He's a student. Game a student of the game too. It's just he is, Eminem. He, yeah, you're right. He is. I promise you, that motherfucker wrote that shit. Like he was inside a Dre body in his head. <laughs> <laughs> like, alien shit. And that shit was so motherfucking hard. I could, I was like, God damn. So when you asked me that, I, 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 got, I had to give it to him on that one because that shit was dope. Game is dope, too. Don't get me wrong. The shit he was doing was, was hard, too. And, and please forgive Melly Mel. He, he, oh, uh, for Melly Mel, <laughs> Melly Mel, send an apology. Hey. Um, Melly Mel, please, that's hey. too pissed. We, we I, need everybody. I'll hold it down until we come back. Hey. But. I guarantee you, if he would have, if he, if, if he would have, you know, it would have, it would have been more of a, uh, of, of a, everybody would have been more like, okay, wait a minute now. If he would have did the, his diss over that, uh, uh, the, uh, sometimes I wonder, uh, uh, ah, god damn, what's the, the uh, 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 oh, boom, ah, boom, boom, ah, boom, 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 oh, oh, over the M message. The <laughs> no, not Eminem. Oh, if Melly Mel would have rapped over the message, yeah, yeah, <laughs> doing his shit back then, they people would probably be like, oh shit, wait a minute. <laughs> but the record he did was like, yeah. nigga, you doing some shit way back, you know, <laughs> from, from back in that era. No, I, I ain't, I ain't dissing it. I ain't dissing it. But he, or he should have grabbed one of these young motherfucking producers and, and got on they shit. Right. To make it, you know, make it more of a, of a. I ain't, I ain't saying it ain't, you know, it ain't. But he, what he say? It's time for the payback. What he yeah, say? Yeah, Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you know, look, don't get me wrong. Melly Mel is my nigga. I love Melly Mel. I, that's an OG everything. But he, the, the, he should have did it over a different type of music, right. and and made it more simple. To where, it, it, okay, now we got something going here. Right. Now, okay, it could be another one, another he, part he, two. Because it's all fun and games. You're saying he did it so old school, like it's only like the old he, school. Yeah, he went like, super yeah, old school yeah, yeah. with it. He yeah. went super old school when he should have just came up. Come up to this era and get down on this type of shit. That shit might open up a whole nother motherfucking lane for you with these young niggas. Right. You know what I mean? You he do some bust over they shit. You think he should have rhymed to some trail shit? Some, some drill shit? <laughs> no, not rhyming. No, not rhyming. Drill shit. Okay, right. Rhyming like he rhymed. Hey. The nigga did the message. That shit. That that he know how to he know how to write. So you, he, you take your time with it and be simple with it and just break that shit down. But you know, Melly Mel is my nigga, but that 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 uh he probably should have I ain't I ain't you know, he probably should have had a, a different a different beat more up to arrow to where you know, where it, it'll, it'll gravitate the young crowd to come in and listen at the same time, you know, because So if Melly Mel would have hit you and said, I, I need a, 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 a beat to diss Eminem on, what you giving her? 
Are you are you are you answering a text? I, I couldn't get in it. Okay. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, couldn't, no, I couldn't get in there. I couldn't get in there. I wouldn't get in nobody mix. You know right. what I'm saying? But right. that's just how, that's just how I am. I wouldn't get in nobody mix right. because I, I love both of them. Right. You know, just as as, as far as like hip hop. Uh, right. uh, you know, that's that's what I mean as far as I, I musically. He, I think he he could have musically came a little better. Right. You know, and, and it's, you know, hey, he, but he ain't no buster, though. He came, he struck right back to the, 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 the pace. He came right back to that shit. <laughs> shit. And he's he, strong as a motherfucker. Yeah, you he's, got he's, strong, right. he's strong as a yeah, motherfucker. Hey, it, it, yeah, That's the Arnold Schwarzenegger of hip-hop. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, shit. Belly Mel for governor. Oh, yes, Belly indeed. Mel, man. All right. Um, Luke, That's my guy, though. I love Melly Mel. Nah, he's yeah. the truth, man. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I feel like he you know say what? That I seen a, a, a post that Fat Joe, Fat Joe, Fat Joe did a post the other day uh-huh. where he had Melly Mel performing, and, and I don't know where the fuck he was at, but he had a green suit on. Yeah, he still had the suit. And yeah. he made everybody said, "Dude, some this way, this way." And then he told, told to, "That was the coldest shit I ever seen in a motherfucking concert. I swear to God, that shit was dope. I was gonna steal it from Joe and repost that shit. Uh, uh. That shit was so fucking dope. If y'all would have seen, you seen what I'm talking about? Yeah. That shit and, was hard. And, and, and if then, you he, notice- then he came in with the, when he came in with the." The uh uh goddamn I keep this I keep forgetting this. I, I seen it and he had the hat on too, right? He had the hat he on. He had the it. hat on with the I ain't gonna lie. He walked out looking like a diesel prince. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he looked he, he looked like Prince. But diesel. This way yeah, like Prince went to the gym. By the time they got to the middle is when he started his first, his first verse on the boom, boom, bat, boom, boom. Oh my God, they went crazy. The crowd went crazy. On, they man. start you, singing you gotta everything. Respect the architect, gotta respect man. The that shit was hard as fuck. Let's pick up Melly Mel, goddammit. Yeah, for real. Nah, for real. We wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for that. Straight up, straight up. Who hurt all of y'all? Yes, yes, everybody. Yes, hey, Grandmaster Flash. Uh, Ludacris or T.I.? Shit. All right, get back to my Damn, boy, y'all making it hard on me. Mm. Uh, shit. Shit, I got to... What the fuck? Oh, my God. Uh, Say shit. Oh, my God. Damn. Man, I'm... A, I, you know what? Oh, we got two more for me. You know what? <laughs> she, uh, she anticipated you saying both. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to... Uh, Bolt it out. <laughs> Let me think about it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to damn. I'm leaning towards Ti, but and Ludacris is my nigga. Ti been been, been a bodyguard hard, uh, bodyguard hard uh, with with what he was what he was doing. Uh, shit. Damn, y'all 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 got me with that one. Uh. I'm gonna have to go with both on that oh, one, man. Okay. God damn it. Yeah. Shit, 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 shit. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yes, indeed. Got, got the next one. Death Row or Ruthless? Woof. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like this shit. I'm gonna have to roll with Death Row. Okay. Because you, yes, you were young and Ruthless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm up. Uh, uh, or MC Rant. Go ahead. I'll throw it back. Corrupt. Okay, okay. Right. Let me get this one. Ran right. hard in the motherfucker. Yo, Red is, Red is one of the hardest. Yeah, one of, one of the I hardest. I think he's underrated. Red is underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran, Ran is hard in the motherfucker. If it ain't rough, it ain't me. That nigga was hard. He is still yeah, hard. He's still hard. He's still hard. Nah, he's, he's, yeah. okay. he's still hard. He's still hard. He's still hard. He's still Shit, I'm gonna have to roll with the Rough Riders, man. Okay. I got to do it. Okay. Nas. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny Butler and them. Kenny, Kenny Butler, my homeboy. I had a chance to really uh, chop it up with DMX and them. As, you know, you know. Not saying that Rockefeller. You Mr. know, I, I've DMX. never. The only person I got a chance to really chop with with Rockefeller was Benny Siegel. Mm. You know, uh, 
me and Jay Z, we 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 never really had a con like a conversation or sat and chatted or anything. But, but I, I I love what he do, and I I would love to produce some shit for him. That that I'd would be, be yo, that would be crazy. Quiet. You know, I would love to do that. That man. has to happen, man. Yeah, yeah I would love to produce that, something. That for has him. to happen. Yeah, but I bet he hit me like, Warren, I need some shit. I get nervous in the mother. Like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> this nigga just say he wanted. <laughs> nah, nah, I go, I go in the fucking. Nah, you would kill it. I go in the zone you, you so motherfucking it. crazy. Nah, you would kill it. Okay. Um, Nas or Rakim? God damn, I'm gonna have to go with both on that one. All right, that's good. Let me get, that one right there. <laughs> let me get the West yeah. Coast ones. Hold on, hold on, let me get this one and then I'll give you yeah, the West yeah. Coast. Um, KRS One or Jada Kiss? Mm. I don't even think that's, that's fair. Uh, KRS One. Okay. Yeah, Jada I, Kiss I, I, Jada, like, Don't be no, comparing me. No, no, Jada Kiss is my guy. Right. I love him. But KRS One, you gotta, you gotta. Did you the see beginning. what the fuck he did? The shit he did. Now I, I, I know, I know, I ain't tripping. But he did the uh, South Bronx, Southside yeah. Bronx in the in the in the thing in the other the South day. Bronx. And Nas is the, the guy over the whole yeah. show. Right? And it's in Brooklyn. And he did the <laughs> dun, 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 the, uh, the bridge is over. Yeah. yeah. He did all of that shit. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. I said, I was like, I hope that don't start nothing in that motherfucker. Bro. Yeah, it almost did. <laughs> but I was like, you damn. Get the rest of those uh, right. I was like that. That was that. You know Passive. that nigga got that nigga got. Nah, that Cash nigga got classic. Friend. He's a like, blueprint. Not saying that Jada don't have classic. He he just. I think he, Jada he, would he, say Cash one. I be honest with you. He's the teacher. I think Jada he's would the teacher. Say that. He wanted. He's a teacher of hip hop. Yeah. Like he really be spitting. He's still he, teaching us. Yeah, he's spitting game. Everything he talk about, he's spitting game in a way. To, as far as guidance, yeah, you know, and doing something. You're not saying that Jada Kiss ain't doing it. He like me. We we gonna talk about some bud. We gonna tell you some shit, but we gonna put that bud element in it. Nah, we gonna put our little truth. our party shit with it, and you know, he I seen Kiss one time. Yeah. He started talking, and in my mind, the whole crowd had a book in their hand. In my mind, Who <laughs> <cares> <laughs> <one>? <laughs> in my mind, <laughs> in my mind. I'm not saying this happened. Yeah, he saying, had, as he started talking, it felt like everybody had a book like this. Like, no, you know, yeah. Speech. Yes, indeed. Okay, you want to go on? This yeah. is some, some L.A. shit. Go ahead. Well, this is Texas, what? too. Okay. RBX or Sam Sneed? Mm. RBX. Okay. Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff. Sugar. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not Sugar Puff. Sugar or Puff. <laughs> yeah. Sugar Puff. <laughs> 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 Sugar Puff. Night of Puff Daddy. Yeah. Uh, they should do a confirmation together. Sugar Puff. <laughs> Sugar Puff. Uh, damn, I, that's what I thought he said. I was like, who the fuck is Sugar Puff? <laughs> 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 you seen how I look? Uh, I'm going to have to go with both on that one. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. We got to come over to compilation now. Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff. Both of them. Five songs there, five songs there, the other one. Uh, okay. The Source or XXL? Oh, shit. The Source? Mm-hmm. Okay. Big up Zeno. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Big Daddy Kane or Slick Rick? Shit. Uh, both. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go, goddammit. Oh, you got the next one? Oh, you want me to take it? He need a double shot. Oh, you got shot. another one. Um, she said you got another one on the side. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Shit, you didn't slid that one on me. Yeah. God damn. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Lady of Rage or Yo Yo? Both. Okay. You know, <laughs> they both dope. Okay. Yeah. Bless you. Okay, you ready? Damn, I'm, ready? I'm, I'm like, I went like this. Okay. Um, Getting there. Pharrell or Kanye West? Damn. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll with Kanye. Okay. Ooh. I love Pharrell. I love Pharrell. He's dope. <clears throat> you know, I heard he wanted to work with me back in the day, but I, nobody never contacted me to tell me that. Mm. Yeah. I guess. But that. Kanye, that I, 
I, I grounded. We was, we was, I was, we was, you know, before any uh, anything, just to see the progress that he made from being in this little ass studio with a thousand fucking like hundreds of thousands of records all the way up and down the stairs, and it being cold as fucking Chicago when I went to go see him. Wow. wow. And then just to think the things that he did and the, the production, his production is, is it remind me of myself. You know, I be telling these motherfuckers I was the I was the the Drake of the nineties. You know, all, all the ladies love. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know, I, I you know all you know all the ladies. Like, like, I, was, I, I was the same L. L. Warren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, L. L. Warren, man, back in the nineties. I got the next one. Yeah, 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 please. This is a good one, man. George Clinton or Blowfly? Oh my God. They're both that's they're, that's, they're both the yeah. walk, right? Oh my God! Blowfly, y'all show me hard on me. Blowfly's the hardest. I'm gonna have to roll with both. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Let me wait a minute now. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Who do you sample more? I got to roll with George Clinton. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I had to roll. Why with did George I still Clinton. drink? I don't know. I still drink. <laughs> Just used to it. Elmatic or ready to die? God damn, boy, wow. y'all show is cold. Uh. Who did you really I got listen? Both. Nah, who did you really listen to? Be I listen to both of them motherfuckers. Mind, both no, of them. I just want to. I want to dig no, in. I, and... I, I listen to both of them. <clears throat> um, if I had to do it like that, I listened to Illmatic more because that was out way before that. But I, I'm gonna go with both because they was both dope for okay. dope record. I ain't mad. Yeah, and right. I still yes, got to drink. And I, I, I got a. I still got the the blue Nas hoodie. With the orange knives on the way from way back in the day, because me, believe it or not, uh, Def Jam was with Sony, yeah, and before Polygram. So, uh, wow. me and me and Nas used to fly on the plane. Yeah, people don't know how the labels were all connected by yeah. these conglomerates. No, and, and, and Nas was on Sony, so we right. were both Sony artists. So we were, they had us flying together. Me and Nas fly to L.A., back to New York, back to L.A. Oh, oh wow! So we was flying together. Mm -hmm. You and Nas, a record would be crazy. That's another guy I would I would crazy. love to love a crazy to get record. Uh -huh. You know what? A lot a lot of these artists they don't really understand that there's somebody will say send me some beats, but the way I am is you know if you want to get the best Come sit down. out of it, yeah, let's sit in that motherfucker. You're gonna produce them like we doing yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, right, we we yeah. talking, we vibing. Let's yeah. sit in that motherfucker and understand each other. Right, and let's that's get the, the vibe. Best we can't right. do the same interview on Zoom. Yes, indeed. That's when the no, best. The Zoom is be a, face to yeah, face the best is gonna terrible. come out. I, 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 I'm sorry to change the subject, but no, I say good. I say that's the reason why the music for the '90s was so good is because mm. back then I couldn't sit. You had to be in the studio. I had to go to the. I had to go to your studio. You had to come to my studio. We had to sit down. We had to make music together. And now it's just it's just trash music. I mean, yeah. not, not trash music. Let me not call it nah. trash. This it's, it's disposable yeah. music because yeah. all I'm doing yeah. is trying to to get your feeling, and then I'm trying to match my yes, verse with the thing. Right. As yeah. opposed to when you were sitting there, when you made the hook, I was there. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you made the beat, no, I, I was think there. Nas yeah. and you would be. Yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome. I would love to get down with him. Yeah, that'd yeah. Be awesome. You know what I did? That a lot of people uh, remember to pick it up, pick it up. The remix, boom, yeah. boom, boom, mm -hmm. ah, boom, 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 boom. I did that. Mm. Remember the uh, uh, Slick Rick uh, behind bars? He was pissed off. He Slick Rick didn't like it, but I, uh, but I, but Russell and him had to tell him like, nigga, don't worry about it. the shit is dope. That uh, dum diddy dum mm -hmm. diddy diddy daddy day. This type of shit happens every day. Yep. Produced that shit for Slick Rick, and that shit went gold. Oh, he understood remember, it no, after I that. <laughs> This shit was uh, dope. You know, and that, he, uh, Slick Rick is dope as fuck, but he just didn't understand because he was like, oh, you can't mix this with that and in the show. Right. And uh, gave that nigga a go. Side record. note, side note. You saw, you saw the Biz Marquee uh, documentary? Shaq. No, I, I, I didn't see it. I didn't I, see I, it. it came out. Um, Sasha Jenkins did it. I didn't know it came out. I seen the trailer for it. So Biz Marquee used to go out and do Lottie Dottie and say it was him. Get the fuck wow. out. It was his, it was his rhymes. Get out of here. Wow. He That's would go fire. perform it. It's like you do great. And people <laughs> thought it was his shit. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay, uh, so Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole? Woof. Uh, That's, ew. Shit. Uh... Cause J. Cole is like your cousin and Kendrick. J. Cole Lamar is, is J. Cole. From West Coast. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm have to roll. I'm gonna have to roll with both. Okay, mm. okay. Yeah. Well, that's a
And I you think know what? they're the best that we have right now yeah. in hip-hop, to be yeah. honest yeah. with you. You know what, what tripped me out is J. Cole, it's, it's, it's on a, a video, probably on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> I seen the shit. And when we was recently in Raleigh, I, I was trying to reach out to try to get him to come to the show because he said that my album... Uh, he said, mentioned Tupac. He was like those. He was like Warren G, Tupac, and he says and some other records. He said those were the albums that inspired me to do what wow. I do. Wow, rapping. beautiful. So I wanted them to come see the show live. Let come see me do this shit, yeah, nigga. The shit that you. That, no, y'all need to connect. Come out, J Cole. Connect with Warren G. Hey. Dropping this next week. He gonna see it. Uh, Rap City or MTV Raps? <sighs> Oof. Oh wait, uh, Rap City. Okay, I, go I got the next one. Yeah. Love my dog, man. OG's right here. King T or MC8? Shit. Uh, shit. I'm at, I'm at, oh, wait. Damn. I, I got to roll with King T because King T was... He's the original. King, King T was, 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 was right there with Ice T. They they had yeah. like a little thing kind of not no serious beef or nothing, but it was like the battle over the T. Nope. The who was the T? Really? That was the T beef? Yeah. They it was like beef? King T and Ice T. Like who was the who was the who was the <laughs> It was the T. King T was hard too now. Shit, they, man, that nigga, that y'all need to go back and listen to no, that. Shit. Trust no, me, no, no. King fool? T is a motherfucker. Oh my God. Act the fool? Yeah. But MC8 as well. CMW. See, I'm going to tell you a guy that don't nobody never talk about was Mixed Master Spade. Mm-hmm. Talk yeah. about it. Vicious. Mm-hmm. Said I want to go to the liquor store. Hey, and get some eight ball, baby. Get Ooh. some eight ball. I want to make that over right now. <laughs> You know, some cocaine right now? Hey, go ahead. Niggas don't know. Rest in peace, Mix Master Spade. But you know, but he was he was original. That's he from Compton. Mm, wow. Yeah. And nobody yeah. never, nobody don't even like he was more people don't really understand. Like he was one of the ones too in the beginning, Mix Master Spade, that was that was putting it down. Yeah. Now so, you next. Let, now I want you. Egyptian lover. I'm sorry, y'all. I just be, No, nah, like, Egyptian, Egyptian lover, Egyptian, of course. Egyptian lover is kind of like our Cool hurt. Yep. Right. You know what I mean? From the West Coast. The LA Dream team. Like all those people, you know, all kind of all different kind of guys. We had some some, you know, the Captain Rap was from Long Beach. Like yeah. Arabian guys. Prince. The Arabian Prince. You know, these were these were, you know, the guys like that was that was setting it off. Yeah. Before we we, you know, could was we, we was listening, but it was, you know, breaking and shit back then. Like with, with Ice T and them, like, you know, when breaking and all that shit came yeah. out, you know? Yeah. So, so Wu Tang my jaw or NWA? Too much, huh? Wu Tang or NWA? Shit. Uh, <laughs> come on, you. Wu Tang and WA. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to mash with NWA. Yeah. Um, like they, uh, shit. Uh, Raekwon and, and Ghostface and Method, man, them, them my guys. But these them niggas shit. If you listen to that niggas, them niggas, the niggas NW any of the NWA albums, the way they put that shit together, sh- that shit is oh, really? that's like the greatest of all time as far as hip hop production from mm. Dre with in the in in, in hip hop period, the way it was structured, because it was a it was a movie. He he took you on a yeah. journey and took made it a movie. Including the skits. That's you what just, I mean. You, you the skits, about that it was a movie. It's, it's, it's acted out and then it's brought into a song. I it always brought, thought I brought always you into Compton. I yes always indeed. thought yes all indeed. classic hip hop skits should always wind up as a movie. Yes, indeed. I yes always indeed. thought that. Yes, indeed. I'm sorry to jump off subject. All right, let's go to the next one. Wait, yeah. I got it. You, you, yeah. Exhibit or Razkaz? Exhibit. Yeah. I like this one. Mac 10 and WC. <laughs> Dub C. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I fuck yeah. with both of them, but I, I got to roll with Dub C. Okay. Ghetto Boys or UGK? Shit. <laughs> I'm about to go both on that one. Damn. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, what's your... <laughs> this is I'm ready to drink. I'm ready to drink. I got to go with both. Right, right, okay, uh, go with both. Pimp C, Pimp C with my nigga. Look, I'm going to tell y'all some cold shit. I'm going to tell y'all some cold shit. He came when he came... when he, So about Pimp C. Pimp C got yeah. out of jail... He came, he came to California. He came to my studio. I had a studio in Lake Forest, California. He came to my studio. We sat in that motherfucker and talked. 
and and just thinking, you know, about things we was getting ready to do musically. So we and just he just wanted to see me, you know. So we was in that motherfucker just just chopping it up. He was telling me about when he was had a, he was in a riot in jail where he said, "Nigga, I had on nothing but my boxes, nigga," uh-huh. and uh. And and he said I I was put on oil all over my body. He said nigga had put my boots on. Nigga was ready to go, you know out in the, the ride. Fight. Yeah, yeah, the yeah fight. So getting ready to go down. Right. And um, he he came back again and and he called me. When when the shit happened with him, he call, I still got the voice message. That's how uh-huh. deep this is. I still got the voice message where he called me. He said Warren. He said I don't know what you're doing tonight. But um, I'm at the La Madrian Hotel. And I'm like getting ready to get down with Too Short tonight. He said, if you got a Digio 2 or whatever, he said, I forgot what else he said. He said, but I guess on the voicemail, he said, whatever. He said, I'm, in, I'm at the hotel. He said, come to the hotel. He said, he said, he said uh, after I get down with Sh- Short, we could work on some music. And he said, it's going down. <laughs> That's the last... That's the last. Sound just like him. Sound just like him. No, okay, there was that, and then, then he called, he, I thought, he, he, you know, that was the last voice message I, I got from him, and then, actually, it was two of them, then he called me again, and he left a voice message because he was trying to get in contact with Snoop because he wanted to drop him a jacket off. Oh, wow. Mm. And that, if that Monday is when all, uh, that's all this shit, the news broke about him uh, passing away, and that shit, that shit crushed me. God you know, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Pimp C. Rest in peace, you know, yeah, that, that was that was that was Legend that was my Pimp guy. Um, Pimp C, a three two, Big Mike, all them was all, all my guys. Yeah. Um, analog or digital? Analog. Okay. DOC or MC Breed? Hmm. Shit. Uh, DOC. MPC sixty or MPC two thousand. Shit. I'm going to have to go with MPC 2000. Okay. <laughs> Even though I still got the MPC 60 that was used on the Chronic, I still got it. Right. The same one Dre taught me on. Wow. The Far Side or Digital Underground? Shit. Uh, digital Underground. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. next one too. Next. Two. Above the Law or Compton's Most Wanted? Shit. Uh, I'm going to go with both on that one. Damn. Yeah. What up, dog? Let me get my drink. Cause I'm going to... Go ahead. You got a drink, too? They, they was... They, they, no, I, I got it right here. Right here. Shit, uh, shit, shit. Yes, indeed. Uh, actually, I'm going to tell you a cold story. This is going to fuck everybody up. Okay. I was introduced to G-Funk do a bud of law. You know, they was the first ones. They were G, they was claiming G phone. That's what that was the 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 for you. I look, check this out. Wow. I used to be around, like I said, as a pup, hanging around the studio, out in the street, nowhere to go. Uh Lay Law 187 took me in with them. Above the law. Above the law. Right. Uh, K-Mac, KMG, K- Go-Mac, KMG, Total Chaos. Um, they took me in with them. And uh, uh, we was moved in with them. We was, I, they started fucking with me just because they seen I was a young motherfucker just eager to learn. Mm. So they, I, I lived with them. I didn't really have no place to stay. So I lived with them and, and uh, they was G-Funk, so they made me G-Funk from him. Because like I said, 187 taught me how to work the MPC-62, along with what Dre taught me as well. So um, they were G-Funk, so that that I became part of that. So you know what I mean? They were already repping G-Funk. Straight up, right. repping it. You know, and uh, so I carried on... G Funk, no matter what, because that's what I, it was. It, I ain't gonna say it was like a gang, but it was like you know, this is the G Funk music, like the the click. This is your crew. Like G Funk, what we do is is G Funk. So, right. what I did was, <clears throat> I still kept going with the name, moving with it. What I did is I took it and I made it worldwide to a whole nother 
genre where they they saying it's a genre of music now because but but if that's the G funk record the G funk era is my 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 right. branch my part of the G funk yeah. but the niggas who turned me on the G funk was above the law. Wow. So when you hear that, you Make know, sure. and I'm letting y'all know that. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. the law, bro. Yeah, yes indeed. Bro. You know, I'm 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 G Funk. I'm G Funk. Regulate the G Funk era. That's 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 warm. You know, that's that's another branch off of the off of the whole uh G Funk brand name. And uh I'm I'm I I took it and took it to a whole different realm. Right. And um to where now you go anywhere and they like G Funk, you know, G Funk, G Funk, G Funk, you know, and and I just had to say that just to let the to set the, set to say let them know, you know, let them know cuz motherfuckers be you know, sometimes it, it they be like, "Whoa, whoa, they 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 the ones that did G Funk." But you motherfucker, you don't know I was around these motherfuckers mm. at at the beginning stages, nigga, right. and they made me a part of that shit. So that's what the fuck it is and I took it to a whole nother motherfucking era. I made it worldwide and made it known. So mm. everybody know what G-Funk is now. Yeah. You know? God damn. Hey. God damn. Yeah. Do the, do the next one, then we'll do the last one. Was I spazzing a little? Nah, nah, you good. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> As many of y'all know, Drink Chance wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them. Giving flowers and celebrating our legend while they can still smell them. We have partnered with What The Flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives. You can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now. I love your baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. Yeah. Yeah. The Lynch Mob or Cypress Hill? Shit. I gotta go with both on that, man. Oh, Look at all this shit, shit they got me up here. God damn, boy. Yeah, but you think y'all got me up here? Look at this. Come on, give me your flowers, my brother. <laughs> And so all this, all this. See, I, I do take that I'm one. We got the last. I'm a skunk up here. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> this, this is the last one for the quick time slide. Then we, we can keep then going. Then we can get back to. We can keep the, go for the, a week. We look, 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 look. look. We, yeah. we want to get back to the interview. But, um, and this, everyone thinks, because none of these are really trick questions. This is probably the only one that's a trick question. Loyalty or respect? <sighs> Loyalty. You explain why? Yeah. I just I, I love loyalty because, you know, you don't have to you don't have to look over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. You don't have to, you know. Uh, you got to stay down with the people who was was down with you and never, you know, never transform on them. Right. Uh, right. And and, you know, like I said, the people that's that's been down with you from the gate, you you can't be dis disloyal to, you know, like like Snoop. I I didn't. This nigga got over 30. All these niggas got in here got over 30 years of loyalty from me. Mm -hmm. All of these niggas. Mm -hmm. It's it's more than 30 years. I'm, I'm talking elementary school all the way up. And um, we did go to elementary school together. A lot wow. of us in here right now, That's we went real. to elementary school. That's crazy. That's <laughs> Bible, Bible study, yeah. you know. So so it's, uh, you know, it's loyalty, you know. I've, I've worked with a lot of artists, you know, but I would just sit back just to see how they yeah. are. You don't got no path? You don't got no... Mm -hmm. Give it to them. My bad. Yeah, oh, yeah, so it's, it's like a lot of artists I work with. I just I just chill just to see how they are, mm -hmm. you know, to see if they got loyalty. Right. You know, it, it was a lot of them that didn't have no loyalty. Dang. You know, they was just... It was just, you know, using... You know, using, a, like, myself for leverage to... Because when, when I... Once I said, okay, I'm cool... They took that leverage with whatever, and then got situations in other places. Right. So it it, it was it was it's it's loyalty, loyalty all the way. Loyalty all the way. Yeah. Yes, David. And let me ask you: You got timeless records. You've been touring all a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been, what is on your rider? If a person has to, uh, what's on your rider? Yeah. Uh, I got I got beer. Uh, 
I drink beer. What kind of beer? You Don't drink? you drink your own I, beer? I, I, I drink Modelo. Modelo, y'all better get at me. I, I uh, fuck with Modelo, too, yeah, man. Oh, oh goddammit. Drinking that shit on I thought you had stuff. your own beer. You don't have it? I don't have my own beer, but... Yo, you got to get your own beer. Yeah, or uh, 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 Modelo kick in. Modelo. Because I be drinking Modelo. that shit. <laughs> Sponsor me and Warren yeah, G. Yeah, wait, that's not the... Uh, uh, Medallia is the Puerto Rican one. No, Modelo, yeah. Modelo. And uh, uh, Modelo, um, water... Uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, salmon, um, brown rice, uh, 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 Popeyes, uh, 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 barbecue. How you have all that healthy shit? The bar, the no, I, I, I mean, you got the, yeah. I got, I got, I got, I, I cheat here and there, but I got, I got all, I got my everybody else that that's there. They gotta eat some shit too. All right. And uh, barbecue, which is what that's one of the main things that I really love to do. I'm you got I your, actually your got, own shit. Yeah, that's my my you got your uh, barbecue grill. That's nope. I got my own barbecue sauces and rubs. I let's, actually let's talk about it. Let's yeah, talk about it. They yeah, say uh, you I'm got to see you somebody got to the, grab the my sauces? rubs. I, I ain't got. I got. I, I got my rubs with me, man. We I've been on the road cooking for Snoop. Okay. They they uh is the bus close by? Okay, if it is, I, I got them in, in my drawer where, the, where them cup of noodles is. <laughs> I'm a cup of noodles guy. <laughs> I was on it last night. Right. I, I'm eating eat my cup of noodles with some Tony's so in how, it. So how'd you get your own sauce? Well, I, my father inspired me, man, um, just by all the family functions and, and a lot of pit masters to, uh -huh. of today and, and back in the day. Uh -huh. um, my dad, like, just going to family unions and family functions where y'all cooking, they having fun, talking, there's great conversations, music playing, and kids having a good time. All that shit stuck with me. So right. as a young teen, and you can ask Snoop, this shit, everywhere, we was on the dope spot. Everywhere I would, even even uh, Fabian, we, I would always try to cook. You know, cook just to, because it would change the vibe. And, uh... I wasn't that good of a cook back then, but now <laughs> I'm, I'm on my shit now. I'm vicious. Now I'm, I'm the hip hop pit master okay. now. Okay. And uh, so everybody was like, Warren, you got to, you know, start, create your own products along with your barbecue brand, that right. your name that you're doing, because you posting shit everywhere. This shit look good. It right. tastes good. Everybody tastes it. And uh, so I got with some of my friends, and we, we created uh, three sauces, the OG Smokey, the We Brings Heat, and the original. Of the OG Smokey, we bring hit in the original um, sauce, and um, I have two rubs. I have the All Purpose, and I have the uh, the uh, Sniffer Griffin's original uh, rub, which is for strictly a. These are in stores. It will be soon. Okay. Um, cool. I'm talking to you know a lot of lot of powerhouses. You give that... us Charles Sue. Yes, indeed. Charles Sue, he's a, he's a good guy. He'll, yes, indeed. He could help facilitate that. But let me just finish. What else is on your rider? Okay. What oh, else is yeah. On your... uh, uh, shit. Barbecue, fruits, vegetables, water, uh, salmon, brown rice, Popeyes. Uh, back in, you know, I, 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 I do it as a joke, but I, I, I say bad bitches just a joke because I, I like people to see and they say bad bitches. I, I like for them to trip out. <laughs> so I say, I say crazy shit to them. I say all kind of crazy shit to them. Zigzags. Uh, just to see, right. you know, and when what was a trip is that one of the places I went to, uh, they they did a joke on me. Okay. And so I walked in the dressing room and he was like, here go your bad bitches. And it was a cardboard woman. Uh. <laughs> Sitting there like... <laughs> But right. it was a life-size cardboard woman. Right. I'm like, get out of here with that shit. Right. But uh, you know, I, I do that shit just to just to joke with them and have fun. But that was pre that's pretty much my that's rider. Much I ain't got a crazy you rider. Ain't got, you ain't got yellow. I, 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 I told uh, uh, Xbox. Uh, I'm a huge gamer. Uh, Warren G. Twenty First Street. Playing Call of Duty. I Wait play a, Call of you Duty. Tell them niggas to bring you an Xbox. And do you I, take the Xbox or do you give it back? I, I got my own, so I just bring my own. Oh, okay. I got I, my own. I thought you were telling the promoter to bring your Xbox. I said, that's no, cold. I, I did. I was like, that's cold. No, no that, I did. Oh, okay. You I tell did, the promoter. But, you know, they some of them don't follow the rules, right? Like, but I got, I, got my, <laughs> I got my own shit just right. in case. So I, right. I got my own shit, this TV, the whole nine. Right. And um, I'm a huge gamer, man. I love I love gaming. Uh, What's your favorite game? Yeah, shit, I play everything. Call PUBG, of Duty? Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Madden, NBA 2K, 
uh, prominence poker, you used to play spade, double dribble back in the day. Hey, double dribble. Oh, definitely. Double, double dribble, dribble was my. I'm a double shit. dribble, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario kind of guy. That means you're not I believe nothing. That, that means I'm in the eighties. You're 80s. nothing right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Legend of Zelda's still popping. <laughs> I, I was, yo, but listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. Where did we go? We, we, we had to pick up the PS5. We went. Remember, we went. We had, we had to sign autographs to pick up the PS5. We had to do it. No. A dude came up to me in that place, and he had the Legend of Zelda. He was like, "I know this is your favorite game," <laughs> and I and I signed it because yeah, he was a nerd. He's a nerd. He knew that that was one of that was my two. Uh, and uh, Duck Hunt. You remember Duck Hunt? Yeah, Duck oh, Hunt. Yeah, 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 yeah Duck. Believe it or not, that's like a. Uh... That's a getaway, you know, like a getaway. Like, even though I do all this shit, I get away. I'm a gamer. Nah, a gamer. Like, really have to get, I get away. You know what's the funny away. story? This is crazy shit. Nintendo was based out of a garage or, like, a, a place, right? Uh-huh. Nintendo skyrocketed down. The the landlord was a dude who looked like Mario. Is that right? So Nintendo, so the, so the guy who looked like Mario, they gave Nintendo a three-month... Uh, or whatever, Nintendo skyrocketed from there, uh -huh. and that's the reason why they made the character Mario. Is, is it look right? I, I read this shit the other day. This shit blew my mind. Yeah, I was like, damn. you read it too? Oh, we, yeah, they look, they look it up. Everywhere. Yeah, well, look it up. It's the Nintendo. Wow. It was in a basement, like some crazy shit, and damn, the landlord. It was the land. Mario and Luigi was wow. two brothers. That was their landlord. Look, 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 look at that shit. Look at that shit. You're crazy. God damn. Your ball, don't leave your hey, phone. Hey, you got a fat back, face bro. just yeah. like you. Fat face. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Watch out. He's a porno guy. Give him his phone back. Hey, yeah, his bad. porno going to jump up uh -oh, right now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so, uh, sorry to ask a cliche question like this, but to, to tell you the truth, it's, it's really not that cliche. Did you think hip hop would ever make it this far? Mm. Uh. Not, not, no. I didn't. I didn't think it would make it this far, because of of how how much, you know, when you had the the government and everybody coming down on it, the it's beast. like this shit ain't. Yeah, this shit ain't getting ready to last, you know. And then like see Dolores Tucker when they were stuck on right. And when and, uh, yeah, when, when Snoop first came out, you had the guys they. He's a rapper, and they dumped all his tapes and oh, shit yeah, on the yeah, ground yeah, and start yeah. stomping yeah, up yeah, the with, shit with, with the construction shit. Yeah, yeah so it was like. Damn, this shit, they, they really trying to stop what the fuck we doing. Uh, but but to see it get this far and to see that hip-hop is what's pushing corporations today, right. it's a beautiful motherfucking thing, man, just to see this shit still here and still popping. Right. And uh, and I, it's not going to never stop, you know? It's and not we got B-Boy going, going to the Olympics. Let's yes. think about yes. that. Right. Yes. This shit is this is, is, is huge, man. I ain't going to lie. Did you see Crazy Legs on stage? Of I seen course. Them. Yeah. I seen them. You lost yeah. a step or two. <laughs> no, my man. No, but that was his last. Hey, that was his last oh, one. Oh, uh, that was his last one. It's my man. I love counting. you, Crazy Leg. He yeah. was doing. He, I think it was his. Yeah. Was he said that was his last look one. Look at his age, bro. He did. We he need did you to come out for your last DJ I concert. You need, to see <laughs> you need to see if you still got it too. <laughs> yes, I still yes. got it. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, shit. Yes. But um, and you did. You did. Um, you did. What did you do? Was that Fat Camp? What was it? Uh, 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 damn, what was the name of that shit? Uh, Wait, no, some shit. Uh, God damn it, I'm gonna tell you that I can't remember the With name. The trainers and all that. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, uh, it was called Fuck, fuck Your Fact. Google it, nigga. You the Googler. How you going? Uh, Sitting there mysteriously. Nigga, you supposed to be Googling it. Uh, <laughs> you ain't supposed to be thinking with us. That's our job. You supposed to be typing. <laughs> yeah, it was the, uh, <laughs> come on, God damn. Well, you won that shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I won that shit. Uh, it, it was cool, man. It was it was a cool celebrity, celebrity fit. fit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. hey it, it, it was a it was it was a trip because when I got the call, they was like, Warren, they want you to get on Celebrity Fit. So I was like, man, I ain't doing that bullshit. Uh, so they came back again, and said, we are gonna pay you da 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 da. I said, I'm in. Hmm. I'm in. I said, no, I said, I said, I said hmm. So y'all gonna pay me? to eat good, and to work out. <laughs> I said, shit, fuck it. Let me try it. Let me see how this shit work out. Sounds like a godfather deal to me. Yeah, you can't yeah, that, I was yeah. like, fuck it. Let me try it. And um, 
It, it was fun, man. I had a lot of good fun with everybody that was involved in that. Actually, the brat was on there. Mm -hmm. We, She was on my team. It was me, the brat, uh, uh, um, Justin Diamond, Screech, and... Uh, oh, man, rest in uh, peace. Uh, Screech. And uh, uh, the one cat, he, he uh, the head of a TV show now. God damn it, what's his... Is it Dust? No, Dust, no. Dustin Diamond, that's Screech, right? Yeah, that's Screech. And uh, the other cat, he on the... Uh, he he headed one of these TV shows right now. No, no, it's a uh, uh, God damn it, what's his name? Come that motherfucker's probably be tripping. Uh, he was part of my team. It was me, the Brad Cletus. Cle it was me, the Brad Cletus, and uh, Dustin, and uh, the other cat. I I, I forgot his name. Uh, he huge too, like the, his TV shit. Talk show. He be on there with uh, it's him and uh, Gubachi Biamila. I uh, forgot Gubachi Biamila's first night. Damn it. Uh, he was an ex NFL player. That was, uh, they all on that. Thanks, buddy. They, they sit on that stage. I didn't do marriage. What else you did? What I, else? I, I ain't. I ain't gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> but no. What, what else? Because you did two uh, different reality shows, right? Nah, that was it. That uh, was it. Yeah, that okay. was it. That oh, you was did it, it twice or no? No, I, I just did it one time. Okay. Yeah. And you liked the reality TV or no? Yeah, that, that was cool. You know, the celebrity fit was cool, but I, 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 I can't do none of that marriage boot camp, uh -huh. none of that shit. I'm <laughs> cool on that. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I had fun. Oh, I, you I did, did it. I did it during yeah, COVID. Did. Yeah, during COVID. Word. During I, COVID. I just, I just. I got. I did that and I just uh, love hip hop. I ain't, I ain't arguing. Like I don't be wanting. Yeah, to, I ain't arguing. They, they ain't be get, back. I don't be want to get in, get into it and all that yeah. shit. You know, cause yeah. shit, I be squabbing like a mother. They kick me right off that right. motherfucker shit. All right. So, um, are you uh, are y'all gonna do a documentary about the two one three like the the, the, the experiences of the beginning? Oh, that would be dope. Yeah, I've been I've been pitching the you know. You know, I've been I've been hot getting that Snoop about it for a while, just for us to do a biopic on on a two month three. I was thinking documentary first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a biopic would be crazy because it, yeah. it it uh it's a cold story of three different three different stories, but ended up coming all together, coming all the three different journeys coming together, and 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 creating some shit. That That'd was be crazy. Like, you know that 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 changed a lot in the music industry as far as. A, a new sound, mm -hmm. um, and w we was inspired as well by 415, which was uh, Richie Rich and D Lo, mm. and the the jig and the, the I can't pronounce it all the way, but Richie Rich, he probably like nigga, you tripping? Uh, so the Bay four, Area, but, yeah, the Bay Area 415 inspired us. To, that's why we was called 213. Wow. Yeah, because of because wow. of the Bay Area, huh? That's big. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. And uh, that was Richie Rich and D Loke and 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 the, the Gov and the Jig and the I can't I still can't pronounce it right. but they, they those 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 was my guys yes indeed now now let me ask you because um during this these times that we were going through um big thing was like to defund the police right uh huh and now there's, they announced in L A that like actually stealing yeah. It's not a crime. I don't want to say that they're saying it's not a crime, but they're saying it's like it's like the police won't even react. Like like yeah, that shit. That shit is crazy as a motherfucker. I don't I don't understand what what the, what this what this is for, but um, I think that that it, it it's making us look fucked up, you know, like 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 we out of control, like like they always thought. Right. Uh, you know, and, and, and potentially, I, I I think somebody gonna get killed. You know, I doing go that shit. And I see, and, yeah. and I see people rioting in the mall, like yeah. not rioting, yeah, but like no, they just running out, snatching grabs. Shit. And then when I look, it's always in like, yeah, the California area. Cause is, is it it's just that's where it's, it's just California? Yeah, wow. Um, and and it, it's just it's like it's like it's a. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't understand it, but but somebody going, they they gonna what's gonna happen is the owners of those stores they gonna start striking back, right. and they gonna start shooting these motherfuckers. I'm telling you, I, right. I see the shit, and then and uh, it's like, why would you guys leave and leave open season like that for these kids right. to do this, you know? And and at the same time, some of them motherfucking parents like, 
in my era, because those are, that's our offsprings out there mm -hmm. doing, you know, doing this shit. These parents got to step up, step back up again and start instilling motherfucking morals yeah. in, into these families Rules. because this shit is getting out of control. And it, it's like, it, it, it's like, what is the hope? What's the future? Right. Of of it, of it don't these make no sense. If y'all let Cali right now. If was, somebody got to get get this shit under control, you know we 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 got to get a leader again. We don't have leaders like we had back in the day. We got to get leaders out uh, leaders again. What's crazy? You is, know, I um, I be checking out the dude, Doctor Umar. Yeah, big up Doctor Umar. Yeah, he he he's a he's a good guy. That him like Doctor Umar Farrakhan, like guys like that, and and. We don't have like that type of stuff no more. Like, like, like we had Martin Luther Kings and and all of the, you know, the, the uh, uh, Dick Griffey and and we had a bunch of people that could speak for us. We don't have a whole bunch of people, like a whole bunch of people like back then. We only got a few people that could speak, and then it's hard to get these teenagers to understand and to get America to understand that we're not trying to turn them against you. We're trying to make. We're trying to get our people right and get ourselves together. We're not trying to uh, bash all you motherfuckers and this and that and this. Look at this shit. These motherfuckers is running out of stores. So, of course, I'm going to preach out here to all the youth to try to change their shit so they don't be locked up in the system, right. a jail system to where it's big-time billionaires and shit making money. Right. You know what I mean? That's what. That's where all of the kids is going to go if their parents don't get this shit together or... Or we need to get with California and get out who's ever control to get that shit. They fixed that shit. Because it's the whole state of California, because I read this morning that there's a federal building in San Francisco that mm -hmm. they closed down. Serious. They closed down because there's too much drug sales. A federal. Yeah. Too much drug sales. They no, said that it, San Francisco, I, that's how crazy the no, crime they, is. They, yeah. fucked up they out shut there. down yeah, a federal crazy. building because people, they had, the, they had the limit where it's like selling crack <laughs> yeah. is not a federal offense. Yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of families. It's not. From, Just think about yeah. it. Nah, that, it's, it's, it's got to be the it's amount wild. that you have to have for it to be federal. So selling crack in front of a federal building is not a federal offense. That's crazy. They, they told the people to stay home. Shit, this is, I read this shit this morning. This morning. This is that's they saying that's how crazy. Yeah. And it's yeah, almost it's like crazy. it's almost like California's leading the way of this like no. anarchy. Like, no, it is. It's shit fucked is up. crazy. It's fucked talking up. about the laws of California, not yeah, the people. No, yeah. no, no, no. no. You're right, yeah. right, hundred percent. Yeah. You know, but see, now it's the people gotta step up, you know, and get right. back at the at at the California to like, look, hold up. You know, let let's let's get some kind of structure here, cause this we look like some goddamn animals yeah. right now. That shit look bad as Arnold fuck. Arnold had it better than this. Who the governor now? I, I don't I don't. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold 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 at the same okay. time, we got to get some morals back jumping in these households because this shit is crazy. My kids be th think I, they think I'm mean because I anything that they do, I be on their ass about it. Like right. you know, I'm Warren G, but I'm a dad at the same time. And I got to be on their ass. It's like, you guys going to have to understand it's morals here. These are the things that I had to go through. So I, I'm teaching you guys this stuff so y'all don't be lost. Right. You know, and know how to move. And then you know how to have, you know, how, know how to have a family, know how to teach your kids shit, not having them all over the Internet cussing and shit right. like that, going viral. Fuck all that shit. That shit is stupid. It's making us as a people look stupid. Right. Hey, motherfuckers might be like, yeah, warm, whatever, but hey... I, you know, don't get me wrong. I have fun, too. Right, shit. Right. <laughs> right. That shit is out of control. All the right. stupid shit. All the stupid shit out there. Like, this little-ass kids cussing and shit. Yeah. Bitch, fuck you. In the classroom. In the classroom. I, the I, I nigga said, fuck you, bitch. I said, holy oh, shit. <laughs> and I said, look. They TikTok that shit. By the way, he said it better than I was saying. I yeah. said, holy <laughs> shit. This, this nigga got practice. <laughs> this little nigga been practicing oh, at the crib. Oh, my God. Nah. You know what? His ass will still have motherfucking uh, whelps on it. I'll yep. tear his ass up. Like, nigga, you ain't, boy, you ain't never getting ready to do no shit like that again. Because that's how we used to get it. You know, we we got it. It might be. It's probably brutal. People say it was brutal, but we used to get the extension cords. I yeah. think it was right. Yeah. All, that all was of no our times. Jokes. We need to start using PlayStation cords. Man. Oh, oh bro. No, 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 not, not the cord. Not the, <laughs> the the mama, chancleta, chancleta. Yeah, my mama, get the chancleta out. But hold on, let me oh, ask you. Oh. What do you like more, performing the record or making the record? 
Oh, shit. Uh, I took a shot? Yeah, you got damn right, <laughs> both. <laughs> 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 You're taking a shot. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I'm with you, dog. Yes, indeed. Both. You, you, you know what's, what's Not ill, a Tico. ill about your music? Is whether you a gangbanger or not. <laughs> I don't gangbang. I know. No, but don't gang bang. you still make that music that make. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Do that. Oh yeah! That West Coast. I don't know if this is a gang bang dance, yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. That dance when y'all yeah, be doing, yeah. and it's like every time I listen to, I will be like, yeah, I just I move up. I think I can still. <laughs> you think? Let's, 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 let's see that. Let's, let's see that. Now, now, that's is that. Is that that's not, a, is that a gang? That's not a gang dance. That's, that's good. You that's, 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 no, that's, that's, that's the gangster boogie. Okay. That's, 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 that's the gangster boogie. Gangster boogie. And then when you, you know, that's the gangster boogie. And then, uh-huh. you know, then you got the one where you at the party with the girl, you do. No, you know, like, <laughs> that's a two step. Yeah. That's we, a two step. We, 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 we know that one. We all know that one. <laughs> 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 and, 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 the, and the first thing a motherfucker used to do was palm their ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, uh, your head all on my shoulder doing this shit. Like, damn. I remember me being from the East Coast and me just looking at, at, at uh, uh, Minister Side, uh Society, uh, a uh, voice. Boys in the hood. And yeah. me seeing y'all barbecuing and having the guns on oh, y'all yeah. hip. Yeah. And it's like, I was like, damn. And I, said, I just be like, yo, in New York, every year, the worst time is the summertime. It's the best time. Right. It's the worst time yeah. as far as violence. Yeah. And then me realizing, y'all on summer all year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, all, all year. year. All y'all year. year. Y'all like all year. So I was like, I, I started to realize, I started to realize, like, I, I used to always think it was, Black people, but then when yeah. I realized it's like yeah. the hood, yeah. like any hood, yeah. they get crazy during the summer. Is it? Is it that, always that, like that? Uh, I, I, it's a national thing too. But like you said, it's like it's like summertime year round in California because it don't it get cold now. No, don't get right. me wrong, it yeah. get cold now. at like, night. Like, at night, yeah, but but right. it's the that next day. It's like shit. Right. You got 80 degrees, 75, 80 degrees, and it's like motherfuckers pulling their top back, you know. And every it seemed like every, like you said, every time when summer come, right. that's when the violence and shit start. And, and it, and it, it's just, I really don't understand that shit. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be real. I, 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 I'm like, damn. Every time, every before the holidays and when before summer start is when all the shit start. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, damn, this is some crazy shit. Boosie said that he he feels Los Angeles, particular, mm-hmm. is the most dangerous place for a rap. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah, I do. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I do. It's it's it's. You remember, me- you up, but you remember back in the days, you used to go to a neighborhood, and you was a rapper. They would praise you. Yeah. The police wouldn't even pull you over. No, they still do that. It, it oh, depends on who shit. you are. It, 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 it depends on, you know, you if, if, if you, <clears throat> like, if you one of these motherfuckers out there, you know, steadily thugging, the da 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 they going to test your nuts. Yes. But if you just a, a motherfucker just doing your shit, telling your story, that nigga dope. That, you know, motherfuckers, right. you come, you could do whatever you want to do in L.A. and have a great I, time. I look at Nipsey, and I don't look at Nipsey. I, I don't know his life story. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Nip. But I didn't yes, look at did. Nip as if Nip was was still a part of the life. I know he was going back to that. But it, like, it was like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like, I, like that was like a, 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 a devastating blow. Mega. Yeah. You know, because he, he was, he was, uh, I say, like like Tupac said, the last of a dying breed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because he, 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 he was, he was bringing that shit that, that the, he was doing it, in the new era, like we was doing, when we wanted everybody to know who who we was and what we was about, and telling our story. Mm-hmm. So he was the last of a dying breed. We didn't, you know, you ain't heard nobody else that was giving it, right. putting it out there like that, pushing it like that. Right. As, as far as new artists, these these motherfuckers now is just they own Percocets and and, and syrup and yeah. guns and shit like this. And the, what the fuck is all this shit? Right. But I mean, I like. Don't get me wrong. I I ain't hating on the young uh, era. I like a lot of the young shit. I listen to that shit. 
-hmm. You know, as a producer, you have to keep your ear to the street. But it's just a lot of that shit is, is it ain't no structure. Right. You know, he his shit was structured. Mm -hmm. You know, it was structured, and he was giving you game along with mm -hmm. a movie, along with having fun at the same time, and to party all in one, just like we did. Same shit. He was he, he brought that element to the new era, to the right. young, the he young did. age. Yeah, he did. Right. You know, and that 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 was a big blow. And one know? thing I noticed about me, like you know, obviously I'm a New Yorker, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I, when I go to the, uh, L.A. I go to certain people's shows. Nori, this shit is all the same, man. But I went, LA, when I went to York, Nipsey, I, <laughs> when I went to Nipsey, I'm being honest mm -hmm. with you, when I went to a Nipsey show, that was the first time I had seen Mexicans come out. Like, for, cause, cause for a long time. Better go really? to a Warren G show. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, my, yeah my bad. My, my, well, my Mexicans have loved me that yeah. I'm the king. I, in, come in on, LA. man. Yeah, but you know what I'm trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, like, it will always be one-sided. Like, if I was to go see a MAC-10 show, I expect to see people from a yeah. certain part, a certain look, a certain, yeah. you know what I mean? Nah, and, but the Mexicans support everything, bro. No, well, love well, hold on, hold on. Let's just say, I'm an outsider fan. looking in. I'm talking about outside. outside life, that's huh? the first time I saw it, where I saw... Every gang. It wasn't Crips. Right. It wasn't just Bloods. It wasn't. It was. It was but the, across the, the board. Booyah the tribe. Kids will I seen, I, when I went yeah. to a Nipsey show, well, you, like I snuck in there and I was like, "Holy you know shit! What? This is the you whole LA was there." You gonna get that with every with every artist right. out in L, in LA. That's just how 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 it is in LA. Okay. You know, every race support that hip hop culture to the max, and it, right. you get that. I'm telling you, no matter who it is, you gonna get that in LA. And I I love. I love my Mexican uh, family out oh, in yeah. LA. They, they, that's, that's. I got, a, I got nieces and nephews as Mexican and black. You know, it's right. it, people be trying to separate this, that, and mm. that, all that politics shit, the jail shit, all that shit. Yeah. Fuck all of that. Right. We the same motherfucker. Mm. We all and going through the same shit. What is all this? This over here, politics. Oh, I don't, I don't like. I don't get into that shit. And I, I got, like I said, I got. Nieces and nephews that wow. are black and Mexican. Family. I'm, I'm so, Puerto Rican and black. You know what I mean? So, Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't, I don't get into I'm that. Cuban I, love, in I Cuban. love all my folks in L.A. I, you know, as well as New York. Shit, I, I love New York. When I came out just to see so many different Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and Cubans and, and uh, Afri African people from Africa and just Haitians. like how many Haitians everybody oh. yo look at look at, look at Haitians <laughs> and, no I'm serious all of that just was like that was that bro was, that, that is was, hip hop that what is oh hip hop god I was I, I love New York I fell in love like this is this is really nice and, and going to the lounges I used to like going to the lounges <laughs> Chris Lighty kind of turned me on to that Chris Lighty uh my boy Derek L. L.A. Now, now, was you signed to Violator or you? I was signed to Violator. Signed to Violator. Oh, yeah. Records or, or management? Violator. R.A.L. Violator. Okay, okay. Yeah, wow. Russ mm. Associated yeah, Labels, wow. yeah. Wow. That was with Chris Lighty. That was wow. my guy. Chris was my guy. He, he he was riding with me ups and downs. I'm bailing me out of jail, all kind of shit. Wow. I, when he first came out to see me perform, I went to jail. Right in front of the wow. Grand Slam, same, same. One of the, I think one of the twins was with me too. We both went to jail. Uh, motherfuckers tripping in front of the club with one of my other homeboys. Being a hothead, I run to the trunk, pop that motherfucker open, reaching like, once again. The you grass, was a so. gun to a motherfucker, <laughs> man. That's just how you had to live back then. <laughs> and so I did that, and the dude, I ain't gonna blast where he was from or whatever, but he, he. Like, he got a gun. That was the second time that happened to me. He said he got a gun, so I, what, I was busted, red-handed, with the trunk open. They wow. took my ass, put me in the car, put me and the twin in the car. As soon as we got in that motherfucker, one officer got over here, me and him right here. That motherfucker just said, boom, with the stick, boom, we hitting the corner, boom, just fucking us up. Okay. <laughs> And uh, the twin got out, but they sent me over to this. It was a spot called the Glass House in downtown L.A. And uh, I, I, that was my first time there. I'd been to the county, but I had never been to the Glass House. And that was a different experience. It was kind of dormy, but they made us eat in a dark-ass hall with the door shut. It was dark as fuck, this nasty-ass food. Mm. Chris came and bailed me out that motherfucker. I walked out of that motherfucker, and I looked up in the sky like, shit. Mm. I ain't never coming back to this motherfucker no more. Right. Right. And I've been clean. Right. Along with some, well, with some other things I went through. Uh, 
where I was supposed to go to jail, but, you know, they gave me a second chance. I had joint suspension. That was mm. just like being in jail. Mm. So, and that also, that changed my life, because like he said, you a gun, gun tote motherfucker. Uh -huh. At that time, I had to be like that because it was so many niggas getting killed and all the, the death row right. shit. The death row shit, don't get me wrong, I was down with that shit, but at the same time, niggas was trying to get at me. You knew what was going on. trying to get at me, so I'm going to stay on deck with mine, you know, because I, like I said, I had I had homeboys. I don't want to mention their names. Bloods. Mm. Warn them niggas is on you. They on some different shit. Stay right. on point. Mm -hmm. That let me know, nigga. They gonna they trying they trying to blaze you. Mm. You know what I mean. So I had to be on point. I had I had guns too. Mm. You know back then. You know with all that shit, I wasn't on no goon shit like sicking niggas on. I wasn't right, doing but that you, type you of shit. But you was protected. But I had to be protective, and, and that was the price I had to pay for being protected. I'm gonna protect my life and whoever with me and around me, because if motherfuckers coming up tripping, I'm blasting. Fuck that. Right. Absolutely. I'm blasting. So, so let me ask yeah. you, so how, how how was that energy, like, leading up to Tupac's death? Because where was you at, like, when you got that call? Because, like I said, I was, that was, uh, like, the first serious, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, this, the cold shit about it is I, I called Snoop. I said, Snoop. I said, because I was, at that time, I was single. Uh, the girl I was with, I just broke up with her. And um, so I had my house, you know, I, I had a house to myself. Mm -hmm. Like, shit, nigga, I'm a bachelor, nigga. What's up, Snoop? Come over. Right. You know, I'm just over here watching the fight. I'm going to invite a gang of people over. We're going to barbecue. He was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to Vegas <clears throat> with uh, Tupac and them. They going out to, to Vegas for the fight. So I was like, damn, nigga, you don't never kick it with me, shit. Nigga, you, right. you know, moving around. So a couple hours went by in the house, just getting everything ready. Went to the store, got every store getting stuff ready. I heard a horn, bing, 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 honking in front of my house. So I looked out, out the house, excuse me, y'all. Mm -hmm. I looked out the house, and Snoop was outside in a uh, a white motherfucking Rolls Royce with the peanut butter inside. It was clean with the mm -hmm. top down. Mm -hmm. I was like, nigga, that's your shit? He was like, yeah, nigga, that's my shit. Uh. And, uh... He pulled up. He surprised me. Uh, I said Peter Butler interior in a rhyme. I just wanted to invite your shit. Go ahead. He straight, surpri <laughs> he straight surprised me. <clears throat> and so we, you know, we, he came and hung with me, hung out. He let me dry that motherfucker. I was like, damn. Even though I had I had a 600, but he let me dry that Bentley. It wasn't a Bentley. It was a Rolls Royce. He let me dry that motherfucker. And we just having a good time, barbecuing, having fun. And the fight was coming on. I, I, he, he came to fuck with me for the fight instead of going to Vegas. So he never went to Vegas? He never went to okay. Vegas. So he didn't wow. go off top. So we watched the fight. We doing everything, watching the fight, having a good time. Um, we was hanging out, you know, some females and shit around. They was hanging out, everybody chilling and just having a good time, you know, just... And then he got a, you know, just like a, like a gang of homies, gang of homegirls, and then it's like... Then he had this the, the the next tail back then. Remember the motherfucker? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, they, I don't I don't know what what kind of next tail he had, but he had the motherfucker could go that whatever it was, it was hitting him all the way from what was going on from Vegas. Uh, so he was they was like you, we could hear the shit, and then he started getting calls and shit, and they was telling him that Tupac got shot and da 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 da. This, that, and this. So Snoop, we. I kicked everybody out. Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Get out of here, man. And he took off. That's when he went to Vegas mm -hmm. to go see him, to get out there to see what was going on. And that's when he went out there and when he went to the hospital. But I had, if I wouldn't have talked to him and, and, and got him to come over to my house, he probably would have been right there in the car with them. Wow. Yep, and been shot too as well. Damn. You know, but that would, I, I talked to him. You know, I talked to him and... and uh, you know, I, I didn't think he was going to come, but he came. Right. Surprised the shit out of me. Because, yeah. see, a lot of people say that um, that, that was, like, the downfall of death row. Like, 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 like meaning, meaning them getting involved in too much gang politics. Was that something that affected you as well? Uh, well, shit, it didn't affect me as far as... It didn't affect me because I was doing my thing with wrestling. Yeah, was he, was, he had his own lane. Yeah. You know, we was in a, a whole nother... We was doing a whole nother thing. Right. But um, I think that that was the start of the downfall, mm -hmm. you know, because right after that, then Suge went to jail for, what, three, four years? 
three to five, something like that. He went to jail for a minute, and shit just started going downhill. Like, the shit started going downhill. You know, I wasn't around and all up in it to really, <clears throat> you know, go into detail of how it was going downhill, but all the stuff that we were seeing going on, it was like, oh, this shit is folding. Right. You know, niggas getting killed and, and motherfuckers, like, it was, it was a gang of shit going on, but... Because it, it went from, like... I, I remember, um, well, uh, let me compare it to, to Def Jam. I remember me going to Def Jam and me feeling like a sign of relief because mm -hmm. I had to be in the hood. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to be on the block. I had to sell drugs or whatever, and I would be in, 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 a, in a record label. I, yeah. I, would, it was, I still could roll dice. I still could get my hair cut. Yeah. I still yeah. could buy weed. Yeah. yeah. But it was, it was safe. Yeah. Like... I remember, like, like I said, hit me hearing the stories in the beginning of the yeah. Death Rose, yeah. uh, uh, and, and you guys having a, a sanct sanctuary. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I kind of asked you this a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. but do you remember, like, when you just, like, besides you having your own thing, do you remember when it, like, it started sort of changing, where it's just like, I know we said the money earlier, uh -huh. but, like, you know, because the studio's a creative space. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, and I, I remember me hearing like there was dogs in the studio, like pit bulls and all of that. All of that <laughs> shit was in that was it was some crazy shit. But that but it it started changing the more new motherfuckers came mm. to be on the team, mm. as far as Suge team, and you got different influences and people influencing Suge mm -hmm. to where it was like making him think that he was like. A super duper gangster, so he started moving in a gangster way. Right. Instead of he forgot about the business part, right. now, he was still sharp with the business. Now, don't right. get me wrong, he's sharp with the business, but it started that that gang element started taking <coughs> over that business. How about show, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's when shit started going going left. You know, instead of just strictly sticking to this, just saying, "Look, I'm a, I, I want you niggas to learn this shit that." I'm gonna teach y'all so you guys to start businesses, mm -hmm. not go kill or not. No, not. I don't mean kill. I'll take yeah. that back. Not kill, but go. Uh, not to go and beat motherfuckers up and us going around terrorizing. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, let's do it like this. Right. And that would have prevented a lot of that shit. <laughs> making these motherfuckers in the businessman instead of them making you into a gangster. And it's, it went the other way instead of that way. Right. You know what I mean? You have a relationship yeah. with Harryo? Yeah, Harry O was my guy. Okay. Yes, indeed. I used to talk to him when I was a pup as well. Mm. Uh, wow. I probably was because he was like the original owner of Death Row. How did he, you, you, you remember? Well, I don't know all of the okay. the, 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 the facts the with that. Politics of that, right? Yeah, but I, I know I used to talk to him. He was actually he was locked up with with uh, my homeboy, Big Big Fave. Right. Uh, they was they were sellies and was that Ti? NBC. NBC. Okay. And uh, I used to talk to him on the phone. Wow. You know, as a young kid, he used to always tell me, like, Warren, you need to get into real estate. Mm. I would never, real I wasn't listening to nothing he was talking about. Wow. I, I had a little bit of cheese. I, I didn't have a lot of that hundred million right. that I seen, but I had some, I was so all right. He told you what to do. And, uh, he was telling uh, you real estate in the 90s. Always. Wow. Real estate, real estate, real estate. And, you do it? I'm going to tell y'all this. I ain't, I don't, I don't, I ain't told nobody this one, but, I ain't, you know, but but this, but back in the day, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I used to, I used to, uh, I don't know if I should tell this or this, but, <laughs> but back in the day, you know, back it's old now. I mean, it's old news. Everything he out now, everybody is moving. But I used to, I used to, I used to grab the paper bags, uh, like money that he was sending. I used to grab the paper bags from my, another cat that uh, that I knew. Um, I used to grab the paper bags, it was like bags brought like that, it was money all in all them motherfuckers. They was all right. like this. And I used to take them and I would put them in the in the in the closet and I'll give me that, I'll take that and put it in my pocket. <laughs> Maybe $25, 30 dollars. I wasn't I wasn't <laughs> taking everything. That, that's it. I wasn't because I'm like shit, these niggas would kill me if I <laughs> took a gag right. of this shit. Right. But that was it. <laughs> There was bread back then, you know. So when he said that, he was like, "Shit, he, I, I seen it, mm. you know, you know, I seen that part." But that, you know, that was it, you know. But 
I just wish everything would could work out would have worked out for everybody where because both of them dudes, him and Shug, right. both sharp business yeah, wise, and right. if they would have been able to to keep their shit together and not fall out. And this, them niggas will probably be the biggest shit right now. The, the biggest music industry, ever. period. Yeah, yeah. Right now. Because they both sharp. They both sharp. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's talk about smoking me out, fe- featuring the Osley, bro. Judge. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did this record come about? Um, and did you did you smoke with the Osley brothers? Did Ron, did Ron smoke with us? <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. nah, well, we, 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 uh, I forgot, you know, I, I, I was a fan of, of, of Ron Isley, and, and, uh, it came about through Renee and Angela. Remember Ray, Renee and Angela? The, uh, what was that? Your smile. Uh, uh. Mm. And, uh, they, they, uh, they the ones made that connection for me. Because I was cool with Renee and Angela. We, we was real cool. Renee was involved in the Michael Jackson uh, situation that I was involved in as far as doing production. I did, like, four records for Michael Jackson. They never came out, but I did, like, four records for him. Met him at... at yeah. Met him, met him you can't at... can't just be saying shit like that. I'm serious. Well, I wish I could get the tapes. <laughs> you, you wasn't in the store, in the studio with him. We wasn't in the studio. It was me. It was me, Renee, and uh, what was the the white dude with the with the beard, kind of? Bruce Williams. Bruce Wedding. Bruce Whedon. Wedding. Bruce Wedding. And uh, we was in that motherfucker. I did all kind of music for him. I even I, I even told him told them to tell him the idea of, cause he was getting beat up by the press. So I told him, you guys need to tell him to make a song firing back at the press for beating him up. This wasn't about none of that shit later on. This was just, they was battering, battling, I forgot what it was. They was battering him about something. So I said, get back at they ass. I told R- Renee and Bruce and them to, to tell him this is what he need to do to get back at him. Get back at him and talk your shit. Don't let him just down. You talk your shit. Wow. But I met him. You met my... At Record One, before Dre owned Record One. I met him at record one, and he came out, was like, hey, what's up, Warren, and da-da-da-da-da. Was his hate like, it, hey? It was wasn't it, none uh, of that. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> none of that shit. It wasn't that. It was like, hey, what's going on, man? Like, not, not, he wasn't, oh, didn't have like a, was our core? Uh, like a deep You know, there's voice. rumors that he was you know, a crip on the low, right? This but he was, he was, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I swear to God. He was like, hey, what's yeah, up, Warren? God. It was like, it wasn't that, hey, hey, but yeah, it wasn't Yeah, it wasn't that. It was a regular nigga. Like, Michael? Michael. Like, cool. Like, cool. Ooh, just, you know, just like... I He's like, what's your... up? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I love, he was like, I love your music. I love what you're doing. Uh, the music that you sent, I really like. It's, it's dope. He was telling me all this because I, I wanted to meet him. Uh, I'm like, shit, I need to meet Michael. Shit, uh, I'm in here with y'all, but I need to meet Michael. Uh, and they made it happen. Mm. And uh, that would that tripped me out because that, that was like some shit that once in a lifetime type shit like a motherfucker yeah. in your wildest dreams you never thought that you would be able to get in there with Michael Jackson Word. like I was I was fucked up like god damn Word. and that made me say shit you know what I, I'm I'm in this motherfucker I need to get down and just I, I got to produce <laughs> I'm producing I'm trying to do everything how about prince you, know? you ever met prince I met prince prince same way cool nigga cool but you meet prince and straight give you game we at the Beverly Hills hotel he did a show he did a private show. The Beverly right Hills there. Hotel, that's the one with the Polo Lounge on, on right Polo? Right on okay, Sunset, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. He did a private show, and I got a chance to chop it up with him, man. Cool nigga. Then... Was his ass out? As me... <laughs> I, he had on some shit. He was pulling on the stage, but I, you okay. know, I, I was just a fan. But, <laughs> you know, you know, he, uh, he a weird dude, man. He a weird dude. You know what? I, 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 I sampled uh, 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 Darling Nikki. And he Me and Nate you? Dog, I'm gonna I'm a try. I'm, once I once I download all my ADAS to digital, I'm gonna bring that record back out. Oh, it was okay. a, a song of sound we redid. And then they said, I once knew a bitch named Manny Made. But he was doing the same shit that. Uh, the way Prince was singing it. Wow. Whoa. And uh, God damn, if I wish I had that motherfucker right now. 
You ain't played for Prince. No, we we had to get the sample clear. Oh, you got it clear? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, but look, the nigga, look, nah, but look, but look, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said uh, uh, I forgot his lawyer name, uh, but he said that, um, I think it was, huh? Mac Millen, was Londell, Londell, Londell McMillan. McMillan. Oh, yeah, Londell that was McMillan. his lawyer, and, uh, he owned a source. The only way he would clear it is if I would uh, you pick the fly source to Minnesota, XXL. huh? You pick the source over XXL, too. He's he going to see this. The only way he would do it, he'd fly to Minnesota. Take it from there. He's, the only way that uh, uh, he would do it is if I flew to Minnesota to sit down and meet with him. But I was on some old young, wild shit. I'm like, I ain't getting ready to go sit down with that nigga. What do you want to sit down with me for? So I was like, fuck that shit. I ain't doing that shit. When I should have been thinking... Uh, and when sat with this nigga and got that record cleared, just sat with him and chopped it up with him, cause he pretty much was like a fan of me, and I didn't know it. But I uh, just thought he was on just on some other shit. I'm like, hold oh, up, no. I'm not getting ready to go sit down with him. Con- shit. You know, yeah. so yeah. so I was just like, you know what, I fucked up. Nah. But I just had to redo. So I you, redid the record, just so changed the notes. You got to be Mike. You got to be Prince. You got to be Big. That's yeah. Pac. Tina Turner. Oh, yeah, Tina. Wow. Tina Turner. Yeah, you. Easy E. Anita Baker. Uh, Damn. The gang Damn, of motherfuckers. Oh. Uh, huh? Yes, a lot of a lot of motherfuckers like this. One of you know what was special to me meeting Michael McDonald. Uh, okay, that was wow. that was special to me because I had uh, I I never had a chance to really meet him, but. He had he was performing at a casino not too far from where I live. So I said, God damn. I told my wife, I said, shit, we going to that motherfucker. So I went and bought front row tickets. And when I got there, I seen a dude like coming from the side. I said, hey, come here. I said, look, tell Michael McDonald Warren G is here and I want to meet him. Like that, you know, one of his guys. So they told him what was up. And uh they grabbed me from the crowd. A lot of the motherfuckers in there didn't even know I was didn't know I was Warren G because they was older, so they right. don't really know who this, right. who I am. So he took me back there. I got it on film too. I, I never blasted it, but he took me. I went. Excuse me. I went back there and just met him for the first time. He hugged me and was like, "Thank you, man. You know for redoing that record. You know that changed. You know it changed his life wow. a lot. And him and the Doobie Brothers. They still getting a check." Wow. And uh, he said, you know what? He said that my son don't even like my my motherfucker. He said, yo, the record you did, he liked your record. He don't even listen to my shit. Like, he like, he think that my shit was before his shit. Right, right, so I was tripping like, God damn. And he was just like, Warren, like I said, he was like, Warren, I just want to thank you for, you know, redoing the music and, and, and making it bigger than we did, right. you know? And, uh... And uh, he he was like he was like that 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 was that was you know he I hugged him again <laughs> like man I was like this was, I hugged him again like man I, it was just it's just an honor to meet you man and just you know just let you know thank you for your music you know for for you bringing that you know that's the same with with like a lot of people don't know I did. Uh, uh, leave you alone. I don't know. You, man, she said you ain't no good with Neo and yeah. Jeezy. Wow, oh. nigga, Jeezy. <clears throat> once wow. again, he pulled up. He pulled up. He said, he said, Warren. He threw, uh, I met him through my homeboy Hitman and uh, and Fave, uh, Big Fave, and Hitman is the ones that got at me about sitting down with him. Because at first I was just like, I ain't getting ready to sit down. Shit, I'm right. cool. But I did. I went up to. He was doing a video. For the show. record, you didn't sit down with Prince. But you sat down with Jesus. Yeah, he. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, progression. I, I, progression. I played some records for him, and he he, <laughs> he picked the ones that he liked, and he was like, "I'm gonna get back at you." So I I thought the nigga took him was just bullshitting me, and about a couple months went by. We was it was it was around December, right around Christmas time, 
somewhere around, and him and Kevin Lyles called me screaming and hollering at the tip of their lungs. Whoa, we got a record. We got it. This going to be my motherfucking single. Whoa, we got one. I'm like, trying, huh? What's going on, huh? huh? So I called Kevin. I'm like, Kevin, what's up? He said, this is the first single for the record. Huh? So they start playing the motherfucker. I can't even hardly hear shit. I just know it's playing <laughs> in the background. It's playing. It's like, you know, it was his first single. Uh, and that turned out to be one of his biggest records to date, too. God you know what damn. I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, much love to Jeezy for giving Hell me that yeah. opportunity and much love to Big Big Fave and Hitman for bringing the shit to me. Uh, Scrap, uh, Carbon, all, everybody that was that was around. Yeah. Uh, uh, even Lil Sody, rest in peace. He was even around that uh, that whole thing back then. And, uh, man, that shit was, it was just, it was, it's just a trip, man, just wow. to be able to, to, to meet and meet a lot of good people, man. You yeah, know. man, you got a great fucking career, man. Yeah, you got yeah, cool. man. It's, it's, it's let, not... let me ask you. Let me ask, um, what, what did you think about uh, Dr. Dre's and all of them halftime performance? Uh, I thought it was great. Was shit, it something I, you wanted I, to be a part of? You goddamn right. Shit, <laughs> Why would we not? I, 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 I like was madder that. than a honey in the bumblebee. <laughs> I, but I, I wasn't like lashing out at him like you know certain yeah. pe people was lashing out and shit like that but i, I was kind of pissed off i wish he would have put me in there right. you know shit nigga we sandbox nigga i should have been in there regulate is one of the biggest hip-hop singles in hip-hop history yep. i should have been in there and i'm 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 down with you nigga right. so it should have been in there but you know i ain't oh, okay. let me stop i ain't i ain't i ain't i ain't, I ain't tripping <laughs> right, i'm not tripping. you know but it should have been in there yeah. you know shit it's warm, man. Shit. Mm -hmm. Warm, nigga. Shit. That used to ride. Especially with if, nigga. God bless, if Nate Dogg was alive, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, man. That would have been. We would have been in there. I'm, yeah. I'm sure we would have been in there. We would have yeah, been no. in there. Uh, we could have did a little medley, uh -huh. <clears throat> you know, but, but it's all good. I ain't tripping. I still, you know, I still had a good time, even though I wasn't down on the field and around everything. I was in the crowd, but uh -huh. I still had a good time. Uh -huh. See, I was watching all, the, all the sports motherfuckers. Yeah. They like, Warren, why you not down there? <laughs> right. Why you not down there? I said, shit, I've been calling these motherfuckers to get me down there. <laughs> shit, nobody answering phones and nothing. I'm like, you know what? All right, fuck it. I'm out. Uh -huh. And I left that motherfucker. But I seen their performance. It was a dope performance, and, and I, I, I enjoyed it. It was dope. But regulate should have been in that motherfucker, yeah. you know? And I, I ain't bitter about it. That, yeah. Let me get that off the record. I ain't bitter. It was other motherfuckers that was bitter. Shit, I'm, I'm like, shit, I'm warm motherfucking G. I ain't tripping, shit. Yeah. Shit, these motherfuckers love me too, shit. Right. Chatch. Let's go. <laughs> Goddamn, make some noise that, man. Um, is there anything else you want to say before you get up out of here? Shit, uh... You know, much love to you, Nori. Man, good looking, man. Uh, Appreciate you. EFN, much love to you guys. Y'all got it. Hold on, he said EFN name right. Hold on. Motherfuckers yeah, effing him to death. Effing, hey, effing, effing. It's effing. all good, man. Y'all yeah. providing a yeah. really good platform, man. That that and, and it's and it's Thank real you. And, and you know, and it, I don't feel nervous or right. out of pocket or you know nah, what I mean. Nah, we love it, man. Oh, oh, nice platform. So, sorry for cutting you off, but let, we should we'll let you know, like this is our platform. We made this no, it's for your our platform. OGs. No, it's, I mean, that's platform. what I meant to say. This is your, your platform. platform. No, like good. we made this for our OGs. I can't yes, stand when the people have so much time and and they have more than ten years in this game and they want to call us old school. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no such thing as old school and, no and, and jazz. There's no such thing as no. old school and fucking rock and roll. There's no. Oh, we're the only yeah. people who call ourselves. Oh, and I don't want to. I ain't old school. I'm seasoned, hey, motherfucker. You never took. And, and let me tell you something. Young. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah, if you he, take, yeah, if you take your little, if you take your girlfriend right now, and you put your girlfriend uh, Thanksgiving dinner uh -huh. against grandma's. Thanksgiving dinner. I bet you, I bet you, you gonna eat grandma's leftovers. That little young person, no disrespect. Yeah. Don't know how to season them grits. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Don't know how to stuff that goddamn turkey. Don't know how to carve the goddamn cranberry sauce. So hey. your ass keep going. Cause look, 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 you young motherfuckers. Don't none of you niggas wear Kyrie Irvings. Not at all. Don't none of you niggas wear Jay Lamar Lawrence, Marantz. Don't none of you niggas wear LeBron's. You yeah. niggas wear Jordans. Yeah. So don't ever yeah. disrespect a seasoned nigga, a classical nigga. And you do know Because we out here looking good still. Goddamn. Yeah.